What's up, guys? Welcome back to Kind of Funny's MCU in review. That's right. We are ranking and reviewing every single movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I'm Tim Geddes, joined by Andy Cortez. Hey, guys. Kevin Coelho. What's up, dude? Greg Miller. Why does Kevin look even Nick smaller Scarfino? than usual? <laughs> <laughs> My chair's all the way down. Low, Put your low. chair up, Mookie. Wait, no, Mookie. I don't want, I don't, I'm fine. <laughs> you want chocolate milk? You want a chocolate milk, big guy? I already have one. <laughs> <laughs> so Excuse me, miss. Can we get a Can we get a booster seat for my son? <laughs> <laughs> Greg, I, I don't trust you today. Here, you know? Why? You know, because I haven't I haven't been able to talk to you enough to gauge your energy level. But after the Dark Phoenix review that we recorded last week, that's about sure. to go up this week, sure. I'm worried about the plot. Well, today. I mean, that was just how it is when you can give Greg Miller four days of rest. You uh-huh. know what I mean? Coming in that overcharged. You know what yeah, I mean? You should take a vacation. Yeah. That was wild. Every week. You were fantastic. I should just week. do one show yeah. a week. You know it's like I mean? a running back that gets suspended for a year because of like drugs. drugs. And he comes back right? and he's just like, wow, he has a year off. He's fresh. Because I did so fresh. much more drugs. Because <laughs> yeah. you take when you're like, oh, I got, I got thrown off the Dallas Cowboys for smoking a little reefer. Well, for the first six months of this, 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 this uh-huh. just heroin. Yeah. Just black tar yeah. heroin in my eyeball. <laughs> and then the next six months, chase the All the Patreon producers that helped uh Greg's heroin addiction here. Uh, Robin GL, Alec Bobco, David Mintel, Ant-Man My 0208, friend. and DJ Ken. I just kind of blew Tim's mind a little while ago. He's like, I do not understand. I can't read this guy's name. Robin... It's GL, yeah. like Robin GL, big dog. <laughs> yeah, I saw that in, in, the, in the comments yesterday on KFA. Oh, that's where he was. He was like, can you just you can just say GL, and I was like, that's you? <laughs> yeah. That's what there GL stands Robin for? Robin GL, thank you very much for making this show the happen. Swedish King. The Swedish King himself. <laughs> in jail. Yes. Today we are talking about Spider-Man Far From Home making our journey back to the MCU. It feels good, boys. Feels like feels like we just God, were there. Feels like feels making love. Yeah. The the craziest thing is this is about to be the longest gap without an MCU movie since the original days of What's after, next? Um it's not announced yet, but it's gonna be Black Widow probably. Let's wow. just all go into Cryo. Yeah. That's what I was walking in and a best friend recognized me we were talking as we were walking to the theater last night, and that's what I was saying. I'm just like Man, yeah, this sucks. Like, this is exciting, and we're spoiled that we just got Endgame, and now we're getting far from home. But now, yeah, we, what's what's the point of life? Yeah, you know, what I mean? what's the, we, had, we had three this year. We had what's Captain Love got to do with it right before Endgame as well. Totally, that is a good question, Andy. Yeah. That's a good question. But like, you, you think we'll get some next year, right? We will get three next year. We already know we will. The Eternals. We have the dates. It's right there. We just oh, don't know the movies. What's the date of the first one? <laughs> I don't remember. May. I want to say That's so far away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Let's what's bring up? it back to Far From Home here. Uh, released on July 2nd, 2019. Once again, directed by John Watts, who also did Homecoming. Someone out there is a very the excited about that. The toots are on our that. end. A budget of $160 million. A box office so far of $150 million. Oh, man, what a flop. And you might be like, how is that possible? It just came out. It came out worldwide first before it came domestic. I feel when like everybody saw this movie before I did. Yeah. Real jealous, guys. Weird, yeah. Weirdly, though, I was like, I, I looked on the calendar last week, and I was like, Tuesday night, which kind of made sense, obviously, because but of I July? guess 4th of July. Mm-hmm. But you would think that, like, why would you need to get it out a couple days early? Like, everyone's going to go see it 4th of July, right? It's because of Web Swing and Wednesday. Web swing on Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Think about it like this: If it came on a Fourth of July and we weren't all attached to the hip and we were going to have to go to RTX and stuff, it would be that thing of it would screw up everybody's plans. Ah, oh, well, Gerald can't come because he's got to go to his fucking Fourth of July cookout. You know what I mean? Fucking Gerald. And then there's Susan over here. She doesn't celebrate Fourth of July, so Does she can go see it. Know that but Susan they want to wait. The store bought potato salad. <laughs> like everyone needs to fucking understand, Susan, Susan is a liar. Potato salad in general, gross. No, it's, it's just great. Gets, no, it's not. It's Everybody gross. loves it's the cool it's nightmare. Everybody it is, loves the potato salad that my mom no, it's makes. Great. You're, you're, you're you like it? I love potato salad. Uh, the problem like is, it. it's always different. I like a so salad. So there's a potato, potato salad. salad you like. You're like, ah, oh, potato salad. It's because this one's gonna be fucking yeah. weird. Sometimes we make a potato salad. <laughs> <laughs> Show me potato salad. <laughs> you ever seen a potato salad made when they make them with the red potatoes? And you're yeah. Get the fuck out of here. No, what? Those are really cool. Get out of here with the red potatoes. It's the celery pieces that's like. We're talking about potato salad. If it's good or bad, is like saying sandwiches are good or bad. Because what? Some yeah. people are eating a fucking foot between two slices of bread. I, mean, I got a sandwich. You know what I mean? Yeah. Jeffrey Dahmer talk about a sandwich is a good event. I'm, 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 I'm going to turn on my face <laughs> lamp and eat a sandwich. What is wrong with you? Jesus. A runtime of two hours and nine minutes. Isn't that um, it, let's get right into it. Let's hit, let's hit it with the plot, Greg. Already. Right? Wow, there's no. You don't have any Spidey facts trivia. or shit? I mean, it I just do, happened. but like, one of the cars had an ASM license plate. <laughs> I will hit you with the fact that this movie starts off with "I will always love you." No, it doesn't actually. Wrong. Wrong. It. Burn. This is why you don't do plot. All right. All right. Then let me Have give you the fucking, fucking eyeballs. Fact. Eyeballs. I will always love you. Plays right. 
and the, the iconic song by Whitney Houston. Except, did you know that that song wasn't originally by Whitney Houston? No. Yeah. Dolly Parton. Mm. Yeah. No, yeah. What oh, the fuck? I didn't know that. Yeah, it was Blue my mind. I saw the credits. I'm like, Great. what? Whitney did it better, though, to be honest. Definitely. I yeah. listened to Dolly's version today. What the fuck? Yeah, put, Dolly, put Dolly's version in the fucking bodyguard. We'll see what, what happens. Country. That. Let's see what happens. First off, that. it would still be yeah. great because the bodyguard was a great movie. <laughs> well, and that scene at the very, very end. You're so bad. The scene at the very, very end where it goes to slow mo and the jet stops and the key change. And I. And she runs to him. And you know that they're going to not be together forever, but they love each other forever. Key change. And I. But I'm just saying the other sandwich could be like peanut butter and jelly. And people yeah. are like, oh, those sandwiches. <laughs> you hate yeah. the foot sandwich, don't yeah. you? <laughs> Coward. Everybody! That's gold. That's green gold right there. We open in Mexico, home of chips and salsa and some pirates. And Coco. Coco, yeah, do it do with the candy thing. Let me hear Grito. I haven't heard Grito for so long. The voice is kind you of... You got it, come on. <laughs> Just like Coco. It was good. I always end oh, high. Great. And what's there? Yeah, it's a fucking city. It's nearly leveled. Everybody's like, this is fucked up. And guess what? Car rolls up, doors open up. It's Maria Hill. It's uh, Nick Fury. And they're like, man, this is fucked up. This used to be a town. And she's like, man, shit happens all the time. And like, the fucking no, she was like, are we going to fight the weather now? The Nick? tornado had a fucking <laughs> face. And she's like, people see things all the time. And he's like, whoa. And as that starts happening, uh, it's the fucking elemental starts coming up. And they're like, what the fuck is that? Can't you go? And, and then it was actually Mysterio showed up first. And he was like, Poof. and they pulled their guns. And he, and he they put down the the fishbowl fish and he's like, blah, I'm, I'm Jake Gyllenhaal. And they're like, what the fuck, man? And he's like, There's what? And then, Tarantino. Ooh, then there's the elemental behind him. They're like, ah, oh, they all start shooting the elemental. And then Mysterio goes over there. What was his last and, name? Huh? Quentin Beck. Beck. Okay. okay. Beck or Beck? Yeah, I, I was like, Quentin Tarantino. I couldn't remember right? Quentin's last name. So was I just it, threw it, out Tarantino. Beck or Beck? Beck. 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 B? With a B? Beck. Okay. Gotcha, like where it's at. Like Breckenmeyer. I got two tables. Two tables and a microphone. Like Brecken and Mike. Because when he. <laughs> Do you leave Franklin to bash out of this? You son of a bitch. Uh, Garfield. Road trip. Yeah. Road trip. Road trip. Road I'm gonna, trip. I'm going to throw this out there. I did not like the scene. I thought it was weird. I thought a lot of the effects in this movie were not good. Yeah. And I thought oh, that the, uh, I think the direction uh, overall just was a little sloppy. Specifically this scene, I this scene felt tacked on. Like they needed to start this movie. I I, I saw the scene and then we go into the Marvel with Whitney Houston. I was like, why? Would you not just start this movie? Uh, with that? Kids want. Action. I heard. I heard that scene got cut going into this movie, so I was surprised to see it because I remember seeing an interview. It's a bad scene. Where they, not they were like, "Yeah, the Mexico stuff that you see in the trailer is not in the final cut." And then when it opened with it, I'm like, "Fun fact for you, there it is." That, oh, we got. That's the that was the teaser of Spider Man at the re release of Endgame. Was that scene the Mexico thing? Yeah, and it was like, and what the and first time I watched it, I was like, <laughs> it, like the first time I watched it, I was like, oh that was weird and like gave me a little more context but it felt like a bad scene and then watching it in the full context I was like yeah that's a kind of a bad scene. It was a bad scene. That was weird. And it was agreed. It was totally fine though because the next part Well if we're interjecting here I personally I, the movie does not have me. It doesn't I'm not either. enraptured with the movie until the reveal of Mysterio being Mysterio. Yeah. Mm. Like being mm. the Mysterio we expect. The bar scene. You know it's coming. All though. the elemental shit. I'm like, all right. Like, okay. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Boring. And get I, through it faster. I think but, I, and I think like just looking at Far From Home. Far from home was such a tight, this is perfectly. I'm sorry, uh, Homecoming. Homecoming was such a tight, perfectly done movie that had you like it, it set up expectations and then completely took you in a different direction, you know. Mm -hmm. And it had so many of those fun moments. And I just think that like Keaton was such a, a better antagonist, and overall the movie was it just felt newer and fresher. This just feels like we're we're rehashing a lot of stuff from the MCU on this, and like it's it's a, it was just a little disappointing for me leaving the theaters. I disagree. Yeah, I, 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 really, I, I agree. I, with I disagree Nick, right? at like that extent. Uh, there's some things that I'm like, yeah, I'm not, for but, sure. Let me but. let me stop you. I loved. It. I liked it. I enjoyed the movie. I walked out going, that was cool. That was a good two hours movie. But I expected a little bit more from it, and it just it didn't hit me where I needed it to hit me. But I liked a lot of it, and I, I turned to Andy at one point, and I was like, this is like, it's such a great style when they get to Europe because it turns into like a Fellini flick from like the '60s, you know. So it's like it's silly and like everything they use like the music and shit. Yeah, and yeah, the music yeah, was yeah. fun. It was it was yeah. super, uh, silly like that. But I but I'm with Greg. Like the first hour, I'm just like, well, can we get through all this elemental shit and can we get to the point where we know Jake Gyllenhaal is the bad guy? Can we get to where he makes the turn? I, I agree I, that that I, moment, the mysterious moment of everything happening. From that moment, I'm like, I'm fucking in and I love this movie. Everything else before that, I'm like, I just really enjoy this. 
not love it because it's all the Spider-Man stuff with elementals. So it was like whatever. This is weak. A lot of great humor, but uh, but the humor yeah, and the, uh, Peter Smith. Parker stuff, Which like all of the the kids and shit. I'm like, I'm in for this. Like I don't care that this is a, P- a Spider-Man movie. Like it was for I'm me in I'm, for the I'm, Peter I'm, Parker. You're, uh, I'm with you. I'm I'm in between you and Nick. I think on the spectrum, but it was mom the thing. Dad. Same exactly. Mom and Dad are pulling me in two day. different ways. One's got my pant leg. The other's got my forearm. I'm taking your forearm. <laughs> I'm my forearm, please. <laughs> your forearm will rip later. I'm in pain. <laughs> don't fucking worry <laughs> about it. The skin doesn't Cut make it out. Oh, splits. Right. And underneath it, worms. I've been a worm. Yeah. 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 This entire. Jesus Christ. Let him let him just go for a uh, so I, I wanted to say that um, I actually enjoyed the movie a lot. Uh, I, I think that yeah, the first half or before we have the Mysterio reveal, we'll call him half. Uh, yeah, we, we we knew that Mysterio moment was hap- was gonna happen. Sure. Like everyone knows Mysterio, a bad guy, right? So sucks that Homecoming was so good, and the reveal there is like, oh shit, it's the dad. And that, like, that's a strong, that hits you. awesome moment yeah. that hits you. And because they set that tone in that first movie, I think we were kind of expecting that. And, like, that's our fault for expecting that. What? Like, a big well, moment no, but like see, that. I, like, see, no, I, was just, something... I thought the elementals were boring. Yeah, but they're fake, you know? Like, they yeah, didn't matter. I, I think what, the only like, reason why we may have been kind of bored by that is because mm-hmm. we... In the back of our minds, knew none of this is real. Like, the, 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 all of this shit has got to be fake. I don't know how they're doing it, but it's... We know what Mysterio can do, oh. and uh, and I think that's why I was sort of kind of I didn't feel the consequences of any of this. I didn't sure. feel like anything like there was ever a real danger mm. until that sort of character turn with all of the reveals with all of the people who that's were great. really involved. Mm. I thought that was so creative that was, and well yeah. done. And, and, I, and I like that they actually attend, like used a, a more scientific background like in the world to mm-hmm. explain how Mysterio was doing what he was doing. Because correct yeah. me if I'm wrong, but before it was just like he had this tech and they never really like defined how he was able to like make you see visions and shit. I mean, it's the traditional it's story is he's a uh, like a uh, set, like play production, right. special effects guy. Right. So he's like, he can box do all that stuff. But yeah, I agree. I think that this movie's greatest success is they made a live action Mysterio not just work, but work extremely well. Hell yeah. In feel a good. believable way. That fight that scene, right? Fucking. That was awesome. awesome. Oh but, he even, but he even, like, at moments, he even felt like a theatrical director where he's like, hold on, yeah. can we pull that back real quick? Let's roll that back. I need twice. Great. That was fun. Yeah. And I fucking love that he was like, Bob, you did it. And then they cut back to like, he's like, Tori. Yeah. Yeah. Like all those guys. Mm-hmm. I'm like, that, that's so that's smart. smart. <laughs> I, got, I got such like, so uh, smart. I got such so like fun. hot fuzz. Uh, yeah. yeah. Shot yeah. of the dead vibes yeah. from that. I, I was hoping they were going to do it for every other person. So then they just did it for the yeah. first two. I'm like, oh, like I really wanted. It would have been good going. to like really get. I, like, I wanted that bits. too, but you know, but this movie had really like it just totally like most of it worked for me, but some of it was just a little bit off. Like I wanted more of him with Tony, and I wanted a message from Tony. We never really got that, but then there was some zaniness that I thought worked, and but those two were kind of at odds with me. Where I'm like, we're cutting back and forth between him crying and then this zany like theatrical thing. I don't know. It, it, again, I liked it. It just didn't hit on all cylinders for me. When it comes to the elemental stuff, I feel like there wasn't enough of it to bother me because mm. I feel like the first half of the movie was Pete they, I feel like they kind of understood people are going to know this shit's fake so it's like let's just there's a fight scene here it's happening but when they talk about it it's kind of just brief brief exposition of just right. let's get to the next uh, thing with Mary Jane and sure. Peter I'm like I'm in for and that all stuff that all stuff. from me worked. Yeah. Oh, um, all, the, right. all the kids stuff I thought was great. I did not. I think you mentioned him earlier. I don't remember the actor's name. The uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm guy who was JB Smooth. Smooth. Yeah. Like, I didn't like him. Being uh, I, know, I didn't me think we too. I was really mm. disappointed because when he first popped up, I thought, holy shit. Like, the, yeah. the humor is going to shoot up even more Which than I, I even thought it could. And. And I feel he like a lot of his lines were, yeah, exactly. I did feel he was like uh, underutilized quite a bit. Yeah, I, and it was a weird just dropping out of nowhere for him. I was just like, was he, did, ha- did Hannibal Burris not want to do this film? Like, because like he was the other mm-hmm. teacher, mm-hmm. right? So like to drop him in there and then just, like the witchcraft line was funny, but like and even He's I guess like the ambient times, thing yeah, on the plane, right? Yeah, so many times. Exactly. Yeah. It was like whatever. Yeah, yeah it could have just uh, been Martin Starr. They could have cut that. Anyways, out. we get the Marvel <laughs> Studios logo. Real quick, I I didn't actually finish what I wanted to say about oh, the sorry. first half of the movie. <laughs> sure. Uh, I just liked. Like, this gets me excited for someday having an X-Men movie where we have, like, teenagers hanging out and, like, palling around. Because, like, the first half of the movie felt like it was more about Peter and... I feel like you got that in Apocalypse. They went to the mall, didn't they? Yeah. They did go to the mall. <laughs> Thank you. No, but, like, cool seriously, car. you know what I mean? Like, I hope that we get a fun movie. It that, was like, so where the, funny. You know, they're, they're trying to not use their powers and they're trying to just be kids. And, like, that's what the strength of the, the first half of this movie is. The, right, cool. the, the, the laugh on the plane ride... 
with uh, you know my wife pretended that she got blipped. Blipped. Yeah. Yeah. Fucked. That was so yeah. I was fucked I was like, up. Do you see That's as hard as I've laughed yeah. at any other funny Marvel moment, whether it's from Guardians or Ant Man or whatever. Like, did I tell you that my is wife like, pretended like she a, got blipped? <laughs> that is a top five fucking laugh. Did, what did she like left with her hiking instructor or something? <laughs> yeah, so yeah. we had a funeral and everything. <laughs> I, just, I love how they handled the blip in general. I'm calling yeah, it the blip. The blip is fun. now it has a name. That's yeah. awesome. It is a little weird that all of the main characters. From Peter's like high school like life, ah, all of his friends go. got blipped. Also, it's a little strange. Yeah. Fifty-fifty shot. Sure. Yeah. Is that is? <laughs> and Marvel Studio logo is going up. Whitney's starting to bang it out. We're like, what Fuck. is going on? Fuck. Why and are they opening with this? What's going on? And then we start getting the terrible PowerPoint iMovie presentation <laughs> of <laughs> what I, pixelated ass images oh of Cap. It's just a quick the Getty. and the Getty image. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The one with Vision was like so low res <laughs> that I was. It was so. Fun. You could tell someone was just like, just Google it. Just yeah, actually, yeah. literally Google the image and then find the lowest one and put it in the Slideshow. Exactly. It's great. And it's revealed, of course, it's Betty Brant and her co-host, whose name I don't remember. Is, is, is that a throwaway? As far as I know, I. He's cool, not a guy. whatever. We're back in Midtown High. They're giving their little presentation, and they're the ones who are going to explain to us in 30 seconds how this all happened, how they got back, and where we're at in the world. And you're like, fuck, they did it. Yep. They just instant. They called the blip, which is hilarious. Not a dusting or anything like that. Or the snap. They call it the blip, of course. They have the, the people getting blipped out of high school. <laughs> they blipped back into it. <laughs> that, that was the, so the funny. People, the, the marching band the, getting run into. That was so funny. That was awesome. I that mean, was really well Doesn't done. that also mean like a lot of people like were blipped back and immediately died because all the people that were flying and, and got snapped. Yeah, of course. That, I mean, the sucks. thing in general doesn't make any yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't, but don't, don't worry too much about it. My favorite part, though, was the PowerPoint shit ending the memoriam thing. And she's just like, shout out to just two random dudes for editing the video. And it's the picture of them together. It's like, God, they're nailing this yeah, high like, school cool bullshit. Yeah, 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 totally. exactly. <laughs> so so funny. fucking good. <laughs> uh, so the blip has happened. They explained the blip. Here's where it's gone. This is I, the one thing they said that I, it happened too fast. And on my second viewing, I'll need to listen a little bit more. I'm sure you caught it, though, of what they... They it happened halfway through the year, but they made them do another whole year. Was the whole thing? Yeah, yeah they, they had already done midterms, midterms or something, and they were like, "We got to do it again." Okay, okay. So when they, they just keep them in high school longer. Gotcha. Okay, I thought that's what it was, but I wasn't sure. So they've been put back. We're here. Uh, MJ, uh, no, uh, Peter's there. He's talking to Ned. They're like, "Hey, we're here. We're having fun. It's high school, and we're getting ready to go on our European vacation here with the science vacation. It's just a science trip." Okay, whatever. Never heard one of those before, but that's cool. Uh, they're gonna take a science trip. Science high school. Exactly. They want a science trip. High school. Cool. Uh, and so guess what, everybody. High school, they went on trips all the time. Yeah, I'm sure they did. To the fucking mall. Reefer Island, you know what I mean? Just sit there. Hey, man. So, so, Welcome to Reefer Island, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a white guy that looks like Nick doing that accent. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the Jamaican hat on. Like, sir, where are you from? He's like, Riverside, man. That's it. That's enough. Is that still drop? That's enough, yeah. You can see Nick trying to get out, but he's going deeper in. That's what he does. Only out is through. We're going to Europe. I got a plan. I love MJ. I need to tell MJ that I love her. We need to have a thing. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to get this black Dahlia necklace because she loves murders. Gia lost her fucking mind. That was a good moment. the line of like the black Dahlia, like the flower. Yeah, named after the murder. And Gia's like, oh my God. Because Gia's first dog was a black Dahlia named Dahlia. After the murders. <laughs> and I'm like, God damn sense. it. You guys are all fucked sense. up. I just love that fucked comedic up. beat. Oh, that's yeah. great. Uh, <laughs> uh, and he's going to give it to her on top of the Eiffel Tower in Paris. And it's going to be a lovely moment. Awesome. This is a great plan. MJ walks over. Uh, everybody gets flustered as they do when your boy's in high school. And then Ned blurts out that he was telling her the plan. He was, Peter's telling me the plan. What's the plan? Uh, Peter's going to get a bunch of little spoons. Collect spoons. <laughs> like a grandmother. <laughs> yeah. like No, that's Ned's plan. And they bicker for a while and they walk off. I love all the Iron Men in the background. Every like, scene, like it's a, everywhere. Like a just a ton of just drawings. Yeah. I'm like, this is a high school. Like, what the fuck? Everywhere <laughs> you know, they like, go. Art corner or whatever. Everywhere no, but, I, but I like that, that, that conversation. Ned's like, no, you got to stay single. Because yeah, we're, we're, we're going to be Americans. Americans. Yeah. 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 And if I, one thing I know about Europe is that every European loves Americans. Yeah. <laughs> and like, I don't know. Is that, I know the guy. Totally, totally, totally. Uh, from there, we jump over to Aunt May. Uh, she's over there hosting a homeless shelter thing of a jig where they're getting a whole bunch of money, and Spider Man's there. And Aunt May explains she was blipped as well. Very convenient, of course. And she got blipped back right into her apartment. And Somebody thought, thought she was a mistress. Yeah, or yeah. a ghost. Or a ghost. <laughs> so the grandmother thought she was a ghost. Yeah. Very, very funny. And of course, this would be a huge problem, as we saw. You know, the baseball stadium was derelict, there was cars all over over the parking lot remember a lot of things a lot of empty space i mean i would just go collect them all me and kev would go and we'd just be selling used cars it seems like they right, bounce back pretty quick fucking money when you money. when you get money. blipped back if you were in a car yeah 
Are you moving at the same shh, speed? Shh, don't, don't, don't. Science, shh. science, science with Kev. I'm Kevin. No, I wouldn't think so. You just appear like you're sitting in a city. city yeah, yeah, I yeah, think yeah, it's yeah. pretty clear that the uh, Spider-Man movies fall into the more, not all the way, but more, they lean more comedic on the MCU scale. So I think the way they're handling blips, we won't handle blips necessarily going forward. Let alone, I think we'll ever talk about blips again. This is how the, this is how we're getting you back into the thing. We're in the yeah. world. They've done a year it of really school, so it's been at least a year and a half probably since the blip actually happened. So we were back. Everybody said nothing. Great. Good I think job. they said specifically eight months or something like that. I'm just keeping. I'm just... Did that check out for school then? Because they had to do the whole year. That's what confused me. Yeah. When they, yeah, got, when they, they made they... them start the year over. Yeah. That was they'd cool, already and now done. They're, is the, so, is the know, European thing summer vacation? Wasn't it summer vacation? Yes. Okay. Yeah, because I, I think that makes sense. Because it doesn't matter. Vacation on a vacation. So what? So so they're at the this thing. We're over there. Aunt May's there. The Iron Spider suit, which looks dope. Yeah, exactly. So He's being cool. dope. They run. They Spider Man's gonna come out and take some fucking photos and do some fucking videos with you. Yeah. Oh, Spider. But he talks. He's horrible at it. Yeah. Terrible at public speaking. Awesome. She, she was like, "Do you think I was a little, I was a little stiff?" She, he's no, like, "No, you were a little stiff." I think you were yeah, a little stiff. Yeah, exactly. And then Happy comes in. Yeah. Exactly. And here's what I'm gonna say about this. Good for Happy. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think we can all agree. I'm happy. I'm happy. happy. We're happy for happy. Happy comes in with one. the big check, of course, signed by Pepper Potts. She's there to donate it. It's not. It's literally big. The number's not bad, but it's not huge. You know what I mean? Pepper being tight with the purse strings. I don't know what that's all about. I guess now she's got a fucking daughter. Morgan, she got to worry about her. What is that? Yeah, Morgan. exactly. You so gotta, we got to worry about her forever. You pull I guess this is what happens when you don't. Get you can't ride Tony Stark's coattails anymore, mm -hmm. right? He's not gonna sit there and look at the toaster and you go, go know what? This thing should be talking, curing cancer. That's what he used to do. Now what happens? They fucking make the toast. Morgan sits there on the ground eating paste. This. Thank you. That's what's happening. If Pepper's like. Eat the toast. Pepper's sitting there just <laughs> drinking her vodka. Like, I guess I can't fucking give away money to homeless people anymore. Anyways, I digress. What is wrong with they give it, a whole bunch know. of hints that, yeah, Happy and Marissa Tomei are getting it fucking on. Or at least there's a thing going on. There's a spark. Even Peter notices. Happy tries to get out of it. Everybody's getting out. And Mar Mar Aunt May's like, I'm going to go back out there. You guys stay here. Okay, cool. She runs out there. Okay, cool. uh, Happy starts catching up a little bit with uh, Peter Parker. Peter Parker's like, hey, and he's just so, you know, I just takes off his mask way too quickly, by the way. Oh, mm -hmm. my God. I way too quickly. Yeah, yeah. By the end of the movie, it won't matter, apparently. But it doesn't matter. chef was back there. Exactly, something. right. Anybody yeah. could he walk has in. Peter Tingle. Now, he has Peter Tingle, of course, but Peter, Peter Tingle not. hasn't been working that well. They were yeah. saying they made a reference to this. So so Peter Tingle not working that great. Uh, anyways, we'll get to that Peter Tingle reference in a second. Uh, Happy's there talking to Spider Man. He says, Guess what? Nick Fury is going to call you. I don't want to talk to Nick Fury. You have to talk to Nick Fury. Don't I'm going on vacation. Exactly. You're ghosting Nick Fury. They ghost Nick Fury. And so then uh, Spider-Man goes back out there and he puts it, but it, it's very awkwardly framed where it's like, did he just walk out there without his mask That's on? what I thought too. Yeah, I was exactly. like, what, what is he stupid? I thought we were going to legit get that reveal where he's like, oops, but we didn't. No. Instead, he puts it on, he goes out there. There's a whole bunch of cameras, a whole bunch of microphones. Hey, Spider-Man, how you doing, Spider-Man? Uh, are the aliens ever coming back? How's it feel to be in the Iron Man? This is all too intimidating for little Peter Parker, who of course couldn't even talk on the stage, let alone here. It's like, and he does have a great lineup. Does anybody have any neighborhood questions? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I'm going to go. And he bounces out, he swings off and he sits up there and he thinks for a while. Wow, what is he? And what's going on? And a land without Iron Man. What do I do? And then he he goes to Nick Fury again. And he's like, I'll call him back uh, after my vacation. So then we're it's him at home, and he's packing up his bags. Still not answering his phone. His doing his different stuff. A little trivia for you. Sure. Mm -hmm. On the the name tag thing, B. it was yeah Ben's initials. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So Ben mm -hmm. Parker does exist somewhere in this universe at some BFP. point. BFP. BFP. Benjamin. Big Franklin fucking Parker. Parker. Big fucking Parker is what they call them. I bet all his friends called him that. Yeah. Big, Big old fucking park park. You know what I mean? <laughs> Big old fat, <laughs> fat P. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that works even for Peter now. Big old fat P. Sure. Just a heads up. If anybody of the writers are listening and they want to drop an F bomb in the next one, Why have not? Ned be like, Big old fat P. You know what I mean, sure. Andy? Andy. Okay. Do you yeah. know anybody over there? Write yeah. somebody. I don't know. Anybody. Call Gary Witten and have him send it to his <laughs> Hollywood officials. Uh, he starts packing up his stuff and then he starts doing the thing. Do I need to bring the suit? I, oh, this is where the Peter Tingle conversation happens too. Yeah. Do I bring the suit? And he look, he's looking at the suit and May's like, you should bring a suit. And then you looked over there and he's got the iron spider suit charging. This Which weird is cool. Thing. Like, that's, that's, awesome. that's dope. <laughs> that's a really cool. But also yeah. real hard to hide if company comes over. Of Just course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. But he's Peter Parker. I love that they also had like the switch that was probably connected to it. It was all taped. Yeah. Up. Do not turn yeah, off. Yeah, 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 exactly. Exactly. It cool looks really cool. It's just kind of floating in there like a little weird, like all in a little nano machine. Yeah. Just a little weasel. You know what I mean? Yeah. Really yeah. And so then it's time to go. So he goes and they go to the airport and they're going to go or whatever. And they're getting on the plane and it's kind of got that final, final destination vibe to it, right? But it's not final destination, but it's kids on a plane. So it kind of is. A lot of Sponsored United. Sponsored by. A lot of United, United placement here, of course. Because oh, yeah. you know United, of course. You, you know what? You can We've watch the ad right now. You do all stuff. A lot of shit about United. But we have turned a corner. 
We are now 100% United Shills. Yeah, we, we are Shills yeah. for United. Mm-hmm. I want that fucking mm-hmm. silver. We still hate Tim. That. Oh, we hate... Shh, Tim. We're trying to get that silver, Doc. <laughs> I know. Okay? I'm trying to get that I gold. I know the truth. All right. I'm on track for gold this year. No big deal. <laughs> um, so they're on the plane, and Pete's like, listen, Ned. I got to sit next to MJ. Can we make this happen? And that's not how plane seats work. Feels like you could have worked this out a long time ago, but no, we're going to work it out here. We're going to figure this He's out. He's got the double connector. Right? He's got the headphone. He's got the double headphone. Which they're going to watch. They're gonna play th- We've in- also introduced the other guy, right? Which is the... the, the yeah, yeah, they did that during the blip. Eric, Which like, talk. Bart. Brent? Brent. It's not, it's not Bart for sure. It's not Bart. <laughs> Don't have a cow, dude. <laughs> but I, I love this guy's story where he used to be this little nerdy guy and everyone got... And then like five years later... He's jacked, and then everyone came back, and now everyone has a crush on him because he's jacked. It just doesn't make sense why he's hanging out with him. He was Unless younger. He, w- he was oh, younger, yeah, right? He was younger. Yeah. yeah. So he Wait, was what? like 13. He was, yeah, yeah, he was like his little brother. Uh, yeah. And okay. now he's there. Thank you. Because otherwise, out. he'd be 21. And yeah, and then it'd be crazy. Statutory rape, you know? Great point. Yeah. It depends on okay. the part of the world you're in. Yeah, it was very confusing the way Jesus, they explained no, it. I thought yeah. that the little kid was in the class and now he was still hanging out the class. Yeah, and that checks out. That though. All right, cool. We have everybody, we've settled the Brent slash Brad, Bart. I think. Who was it? I think it's. He doesn't Brad. know. He's just saying. Brad. I'm looking at IMDb. You fuck. Yeah, you fuck. I don't know. I got IMDb <laughs> open. Now. I don't see his picture anywhere. <laughs> Uh, we need to sit up there. I got all these plans. Ned Brent, wants to play PC Whatever. games with uh, Peter because he's a huge fucking dork and can't afford a Switch, apparently. And he's like, let's do this. Uh, fine, I'll do it. So he walks over to MJ and, and Betty, and he's like, listen, I need to switch seats with you guys because Peter's got a perfume allergy, to which the Freaks and Geeks teacher hears this, and he pops up, and he's all like, what a perfume allergy? That's really tough, blah, blah, blah. And so he does a very convoluted, complicated thing to change seats and just invent seats somehow. And so he, t- he goes back with Peter to the back of the plane. Uh, Ned sits, sits next to Betty. It's awkward. And then MJ goes and sits next to Barf or Brad or Brad, Benz or Brad James, Davis. James, James, we're gonna oh, call like him I'm Brad Davis. I'm Brad Davis. Sits next to him. And so then Peter's nightmare begins. We, this, we already covered the jokes here. Uh, the guy was doing the amb- did the right. ambient, so he's passed out the whole flight. Other guy's wife got fake blipped. <laughs> So good, <laughs> so good, right? Jesus and Christ! It, we had a lot Brad of, gets to use the his splitter with her. Those they're gonna watch movies. Exactly. Together. Brad split, does the splitter with MJ, so they're watching movies together. Uh, Peter's got the Martin Star teacher sleeping on him, and meanwhile we get a bunch of fun stuff with Ned and Betty, where Ned, Betty does not want to even engage about PC games because she is a true gamer, and uh, <laughs> Ned's like that. And then there's turbulence, and Ned gets scared and grabbed her hand, and then they seem you don't know what's happening. And then Peter went to the bathroom, and he came out of the bathroom, and MJ was there, and so he shut it real quick, and then he spent the time making it meticulously clean and stuff. And and making himself look good, and by the time he comes out, guess who's there? James. James is there, and he's like, "Oh, I'm gonna use bathroom." And walks in there, and does that, and then we land, and it's Ned standing there, and Peter comes over. He's like, "This fucking sucks. Everything sucks. I didn't even do it." And then while he's d- expressing all this stuff to him, of like, "Do you think James and MJ are a thing now?" Because they were like sitting next to each other watching movies the way right. I wanted to, or whatever. And what happens? Betty walks over and kisses him on the cheek, and guess what? They're a couple now. And he's like, "I, I, I love this. This is <laughs> so, so good. good. So not, good. Not just very, a couple. very good. It's like they've been together for years. Yeah. It's so." Perfect. It's so well done. Yeah. What what a great little tiny like tur- like twist here. Where- See, I I love it because like obviously they played it for comedy and stuff and it was funny, but it's just like I think that this movie did such a great job showing summer love, high That's school, what used to have in high feelings, school. everything. Because yeah. uh, I was talking about my friend James, uh, not not the James from this movie. Um, there and, was no James, and in this he movie. was like, he was exactly like that. Uh, but he, which is actually just Greg's impression of James. James doesn't do that, but. Um, <laughs> He James like, oh, I just I don't understand why he likes MJ so much. Like, we didn't see that at all in the last movie. Like, it wasn't even hinted at that he liked mm-hmm. her, or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, it's high school. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, I, all it took is one second for that true. to flip. And I feel like this movie showed that really well. Real quick, I want to say Brad Davis was the star quarterback at Empire State University, who once dated Mary Jane Watson while she was split from Peter Parker. So he is from the comics. I will say James? this though, Brad James, James Brad. Burke. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> I will say this: it, it is a little weird that like they played the the unrequited love card a lot here where he wasn't sure if she liked him and it was a little bit annoying toward the end where you're like you know because in the last movie he got together with what's her name pretty quick like she was just like very forward he's like oh yeah let's go to the dance together that was pretty much it like you didn't yeah i don't know it just they they dragged it out a lot here i felt like they did a good job of making it seem like they both were kind of like i like him but like i'm not gonna approach which is some like high school shit it's just obvious yeah 
Yeah, well, it's obvious to us because we're adults. When you're in the situation, it doesn't, right? Because, mm-hmm. I mean, his whole thing is that she uh, it, it, it wasn't hinted at, right? Even in that movie, right, she was always looking at him, too, yeah. right? And seeing through him in a way. And she's and so, like, one of his too, things so. here is uh, later on with the, you know, the Mysterio know, piece yeah. of tech, right? Of just, like, wait, were you only looking at me because you thought mm-hmm. I was Spider-Man? Yeah, like, that, was, that kind of crushes that him that moment. That felt cheap, yeah. though. You're cheap. How about that? And I was like, no. She would have been like, <laughs> no, I like you, and that's it. Yeah, yeah but, but she was scared. That's how adults handle They had a lot of really, like, the the this could have been better in my opinion could have been better done they had a lot of moments that were very very like CW show where it's like we just gotta get to the next episode fucking tongue and you know it's a lot of those like very very thin excuses for why they wouldn't actually be communicating with each other I feel like a lot of those CW shows are teen dramas you know yes yeah but they're also not 150 million dollar marvel movies that should have had one more rewrite I'm just saying. i like this i like mm. the fact that they're I all like kids dealing with it, especially like at the end when they start trying to kiss that was adorable yeah. like that's yes thank you this is an honest portrayal of being an awkward ch- child or high schooler but even the, there was also the scene when they they get to venice and they're on the little boats and like she looks at him and we get that moment of her kind of like staring at him. Yeah, and he looks at yeah. him and they look away. And, and they, they both back. smile. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly, exactly. They, they so, want it, Andy. So you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. These kids They're want hungry it. for it. Young you, ever, you know, it's like your hormones are popping off. You're popping boners left and right. You don't know what to do with these things yet. Like, uh, right I don't know. Waistband. Mm-hmm. Uh, sure. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> wiggle your toes. Wiggle your fingers. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. no, try, to, try to get the blood anywhere but there. You know what I mean? Uh, anyways, though, that's happening. They land. Betty and Ned are a thing. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. Uh, we're in Venice. We are going to go there. We get on a little a giant water taxi that's going to take us to the hotel. We roll up to the hotel. It's a piece of shit. It's water there. It's this, that, wet. there. We're going to drop our bags. We're going to go out. We're going to do some stuff. Eventually, we're going to meet up at the Da Vinci Science Museum. There's a key plot point. Uh, and they go up there. That's what, how great. We're up here. We're doing that thing. Oh, we missed customs, by the way, when they pulled Peter's bag aside, right. which was really, really funny. She's like, there's nothing in there. He's very confident and yeah. opens up the spider seats in there. Yeah, yeah. And the girl just looks at him and she's like, it takes the banana. banana. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's cute. And it was a note from May. He All right, that's how she figured out the Peter tingle wasn't working right because she walked into the room and threw a banana in his face. And yeah, she walked by him. She's like, I thought you had like a thing, like a, a Peter, Peter tingle. tingle. Yeah. He's like, let's not call it that. Yeah, it's great. It's great. And then Happy refers to it as the Peter Tingle later. What, what was your take on this, Tim, uh, Spider Man fan number one in the room of the Peter Tingle not working? Like what? Like I mean, it's always kind of just been a thing where it's just like he needs to learn how to control it's confidence. it. Yeah. So it's a control thing, you think? Okay, yeah, yeah. him learning into it. Okay, cool. Yeah. I, this I whole movie like, was like more about like he he had. He needed to build back his confidence level. He was mm-hmm. done. He point, was I worn guess, out. At the he, end was, of he was, uh, you know, once Tony was gone, who was his mentor, it left him on his own, and he didn't know who he was going to be. And that's really and like you hear that over and over again. Are you going to be the new Iron Man? Are you the new Iron Man? Yeah, By the yeah. end of it, he has to realize he's ne- no one. And Happy even tells him, no one's going to be the new Iron Man. No one could ever live up to that. Even Tony couldn't live up to that. You got to be your Spider-Man. own thing. You got to be mm-hmm. Spider Man. Yeah. And he's so a I kid and like, he's just exhausted and he's just like, yeah. I shouldn't be. I'm 16 years old. Like, why am I, I need having a vacation? What am I going to to do with this yeah. boner huh? yeah exactly yeah. right side left side, side. Yeah. Yeah. exactly yeah. what do i do what do i do with it uh so they're popping around venice doing venice things you know great there's water you have fun everybody great you know use of I mean? score and all of this yeah. i love it yeah this the, and this is where like i'm like all right you're having real fun with the style here which is good we're playing a little loose so there's I love like the zooms flash there's everything but oh, flash yeah, yeah. Ga- hey flash What's mob, up, flash mob? <laughs> It took me a while that I was like, why is he? Oh, Flash. Right. That's his name. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, uh, Peter Flash. pops off to a souvenir store, is able to get the Black Dahlia necklace. Hooray. Huzzah. Uh, and then as they're all going back, he runs into MJ. He won't talk to her. He won't tell her what it is. Or What's the word she learns? Bo. Bo. Right. Bo, Bo means mm-hmm. everything. That's funny. They have a cute little interchange of dialogue like, what's there. What's in the bag? He goes, Bo. She's like, well played. Well played. <laughs> uh, they start walking. I love then- her, her look. Her look. Yeah. yeah, 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 totally. So that is great, man. Yeah, yeah. She's awesome. I also I love it. Just anybody so watching her HBO show? No, Euphoria. Yeah. Euphoria. Yeah. It's one of those things where, like, when she when she did Homecoming, everyone's like, "It's so cool that she's doing this. She's such a big star." And I'm like, I still have zero understanding of who this person is. I don't know. I don't I'm know any of the songs she makes. Like, yeah. I know she's doing the Euphoria show. I know she's a big star, but I have no fucking idea why. Disney still, Channel I mean, I, I wouldn't say she's a big star in the way that you're talking about. Like, she she's done this. She's on Euphoria. She's done the Greatest Showman. It's That's more it. just like it's a crossover like thing. Disney, so she's not some like random Ariana Grande that I've just never yeah, heard her well, song. She is an Ariana Grande, but like ten years ago. Okay, like Ariana Grande before she became like this fucking like worldwide phenomenon. Copy that. So she's still like a step above Disney kid right now. Got it. They're walking back to the water. Uh, Ned and Betty are out in a boat, and then underneath the water, there's some commotion. You know what I mean? Some motion in the ocean. In the ocean. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And like, what is that thing? What's going on? Well, nobody understands what's happening. And poof, she's like, oh, it's a water elemental. It's ah! fake ass Hydro Man. Fake ass Hydro Man. Ah! 
why? Like, what are we doing? And it's mad and it's yelling and it's doing stuff. And Peter's like, everybody get out of here. Run, blah, blah, blah. And Ned's like, go get your suit. He's like, ah, fuck it. I didn't bring my suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not supposed to be on vacation or whatever. Blah, blah, blah. And so, so I don't have it with me. He takes and a carnival suit. mask. Well, he, no, okay, slow down. Do you want to do the recap? Fine, fuck it. <laughs> Just flip it over. <laughs> the whole I got bus. a boner. <laughs> what do I do with my boner? Wiggle my toes and put feet. Put it in my ear. Did you ever put your boner in your friend's ear just for fun? No. That's great. <laughs> That's <laughs> sexual assault. <laughs> uh, before he gets the carnival mask, Nick, he has his web shooters. You idiot. Puts How do they make the web shooters? Dramatic. Happen? He's got them. They're just like they're like Fitbits. That would be like some dope ass Power Ranger shit. Though. Yeah. yeah. Like the, so I, I think you're like, why wouldn't you just? It's a nano suit. Why wouldn't you just bring the iron suit with you? Everywhere? Well, it has the giant container. Though. Yeah, power yeah. converters. Yeah. It's not bitch. like Tony Iron Man had to fucking do I, his. Because like he had the like the like, shot top space? level stuff. He had, no, he had the. Oh, he had thing the arc reactor too. Yeah, middle. Yeah. Well, no, they had taken the arc reactor out. He had it was just like a little thing that he could hang on his chest. Modular chest piece. Yeah. Cool. So how do you charge it? We're back to that then. Oh, I'm sure he had a bunch of these. He threw it out. Oh, you're missing the. Once the battery is one, you renewable, bro. That's why everything in ten years will run off an arc reactor. No, he took the little one that he had. He took the nanotechnology arc reactor that attached to his chest was renewable. Let's just move. Seems like he should have given that tech to everybody before he died. You know what I mean? That's what I feel like. Seems like a mistake there. Or just give any buff dude a fucking robot suit, and he could be Iron Man. No, that's 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 not what he said. Where's the Iron Legion? Right? You know what I mean? Buff. Right. I mean, just any just any strong guy. Oiled up and hairless. And anybody that can take a hit from a like, anyways, you know, fucking elemental water man's out there. Oh, oh, he's oh, throwing going. shit around. Spider Man's shooting webs into him. That ain't doing shit. And he's like, "Fuck, I am fucked." And he's swinging around trying to help the civvies, as I call them, the civilians. And then he finds the carnival mask. He puts that on. And then who shows up? Mysterio. He's out there. He's shooting green shit. They're like, "Oh man, that's fucking cool." Uh, Spider Man looks like he can barely cling to a wall, but he's yeah. up there and he's like, "Hey, funny line. Hey, I, hey, sir, I'm sticky and I'm super." I'm super strong. I'm really strong. I'm sticky and I'm really super strong. strong. <laughs> He's like, just say the civilians. Were. So when like, Mysterio showed up, I got like chills. I just th- like his presence, the way he looked, like just super heroic sort of vibe. Yeah. Like I was like, fuck yeah, dude. I like this guy's his theme awesome. song too. It yeah. was kind of like a mix Mysterio. of like Doctor Strange sounds <laughs> with the with yeah that Mysterio, that feel, that vibe, Mysterio. I active <laughs> Mysterio. <laughs> What I, mean, um, I don't love what they gave him to do in this, though, because for the most part, he doesn't really do anything cool. Like he saves the tower and kind of saves people, but he doesn't. I think the, the choreography and, the, and just having him do something in a lot of these Mysterio scenes were just it was, it was just not very creative, in my it, opinion. This scene was interesting where it was like slapstick, like, oh, he hit his he head on the bell. Be- oh, oh, he did it again. Like he's an yeah. idiot. And it was he like, fought right. Thanos, but yeah. he can't get away around but a fucking bell. He, that, that, <laughs> there were also a lot of shots of him trying to attack the elemental and it just going through, and then right. later we understand, like, oh, it's because it's not there. Even the, I don't know if the webs would work on water. You know what I mean? Similar to hoverboards. <laughs> sure. I mean, Anyways, the the yeah. web gets burnt, though, <laughs> at one point. Yeah. Yeah, like, that was interesting. Well, that's because it, it was a drone shooting fire at him, right? Yeah, yeah the drone. Exactly. They, had, they, they, they water. <laughs> Yeah, they can't keep water. No, <laughs> water takes up a lot of space. Sure. You know? the, the Propane dr- drone just turns to heat mode. You know, it's like like a hand dryer, but really hot. And that's how I did it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Anyways, yeah, he saves the fucking tower. This thing's ha- this is what I'm talking about with. This. And then, granted, I'm never the action guy in these things, but it's like. I mean, this is. I'd rather get back to you hanging out with MJ or (laughs) fighting something. Anyway, so that's uh, they do this. Great. We go back to the. uh, uh, Wait, do we? Is this where? No, yeah, we go back to the hotel. Peter gets on the phone with uh, Aunt May. It's like, oh, you did this thing. Well, is that Mr. Is that Strange? Mr. Strange? Yeah, exactly, Strange? Yeah, exactly. Very funny stuff. Happy's there, and he's like, wait, what? Blah, blah, blah. And then uh, she turns around. And I was like, she, a really interesting shot of her ass as she walks away. And I must have been like, never oh, Like, how many of those are they going to have in this movie? Not enough. You know what's the answer? God bless her. National treasure. Yeah, but he, Happy doesn't want to talk to him, but he talks to him and they talk for a little bit. I then, hate like, that part stuff. so much. The, it, like, the dynamic of her being like, oh yeah, talk to him. Yeah. And <laughs> neither of them wanting to be there. How many times have you been on that phone call? Oh you my call God, your, your so literal many Every times. fucking Christmas, and yeah. I love my dad to death, but he puts me on the phone with my relatives that we didn't see that year, and it's like, ah, and then I have a good conversation with them. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Cool. Oh, wow. oh, that doesn't that happen. I dread it, because I'm like, I don't like people telling me what to do, and then we end up <laughs> really ca- connecting. I'm like, I should spend more time with my family. During this scene, during this whole anime scene, it sounded like Nick was coming next to me. Because I, all I heard was like, <laughs> oh my god. Is that, why, just, is that why he had to run to the bathroom as soon as possible? Can you just be fucking like, cool now? for one second, bro? Can we talk why about Why are you now? trying to oh, fucking there, narc yeah. on me, bro? Why are you narking <laughs> on me? When, when is the jump moment? I I don't know. When did, when did you when leave did you the theater miss? go to the bathroom? 
I want to say after. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I I think it might be around here. No, it was later. It was, it was later. like an hour in. It was after the Mysterio turned for sure. Mm. I think you know it was um, right before when the he was fire? like, I gotta find Nick Fury. I I left and I came back and they were in a white building. I have no idea how they got there. I have oh. no idea how he oh, ended oh, up. Right, 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 right. Got right. It, got it, okay. Say, put a pin in that one, ladies and gentlemen, home because we have two dual stories: what's <laughs> happening on the screen and what happens in the movie theater. Uh, so, anyways, Aunt May ask how's the plan going? The being the MJ plan, he's like, not well. He's like, don't worry, you're get you're gonna get there. Paris is the next place you're going. It's all gonna be great. And so she tells him to like feel it out, right? She's like, don't overthink it, just feel it, like. Do your moment, which is indicative of kind of what's happening later. We sure. have to like really believe in himself and feel the fucking spy- Peter Tingle. Peter Tingle. Yeah. Uh, so he hangs up with her, Let's goes back to the thing. They're all watching the elemental battle recapped yeah. here on the news or whatever. Who is that guy? Yeah, Mysterio. Mysterio. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, Mysterio. And they're like, it's not what he means. It yeah. translated just means man of mystery. That's yeah. what they're calling it. But everyone's like, Mysterio. Great. Uh, Flash Thompson, of course, this is ruining the trailer. Flash Thompson's a fan of Spider Man over everybody else. They talk shit about blah, blah, blah. blah. <laughs> I love, uh, I love that line though where he's like spider-man's great what's up dickhead <laughs> yeah dick wad. Dick wad. uh yeah he also mj and peter caught up a little bit on the stairs and it was a cute scene uh then it's time to go upstairs to go to bed uh they walk on in there again ruined with the trailer ned gets shot in the by with the dart he falls over it's nick fury nick fury needs spider-man's help spider-man's not wanting to help he's on vacation uh i'm just a friendly neighborhood spider-man bitch please you've been to space which again when we initially revealed that i was like Nick Fury wouldn't say that. Now, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I want to I mm-hmm. talk and about this. Turns out he didn't say. I, I did know. not I like it. Samuel L. Jackson and uh, what's her name, uh, Maria, Maria Hill. Hill. Maria Hill. I did not like their characters in this at all, and I, I know that it's for a reason. But that reveal did not make watching them be fucking stale as shit the entire movie worthwhile. Yeah. Totally, agree. it was to- mm-hmm. it was Agreed. fucking bad. And I'm like, why is he acting? So-? I'm like, at first I was like, I, I I had remembered that there was there were hints that maybe they were scroll. Like you had talked about that like mm-hmm. a month ago. I was like, oh, that's a possibility. But then I was like, maybe Samuel L. Jackson's just getting fucking old. I had the same thought. Had he's same just thought. slurring his speech a little bit and just like maybe he doesn't want to be there. It was, it was, it almost, it, it really took down the movie for me a little bit, honestly. Because okay. I was looking so forward to that dynamic yeah. between Samuel L. Jackson and Peter that when I didn't get it every scene, I was like, these scenes are fucking falling flat yeah. as shit. And it was bad. I wasn't, he wasn't like upbeat. He wasn't, he was, I don't know. Something yeah. was he off. Wasn't, he he was, didn't off. have a commanding yeah. presence. It was very off. Yeah. And maybe that was direction. Well, who knows? Well, I'm sure it was. Yeah. It was supposed I, to be I feel like it was super off, and I feel like there was not enough of it in the movie for it to really bother me. But mm-hmm. I think that the payoff at the end, jumping ahead of them being the scrolls and shit, I'm like, that's just not worth it. Yeah. No, yeah. it was not worth it yeah. at all. And I'm, I'm sure they're setting it up. It, yeah. I'm sure it's cool because we saw, as we saw at the end of the post credit scene, he's somewhere something. something. Sword. What? I do like the idea. Yeah, you of, think so? What do you think they're yeah. building? Sword, sword and shield. It's like re, it's the new shield. Sword is like the defense, right? They ain't like. Fuck you, aliens. We're about to fuck you up instead of just being defensive. Gotcha. Okay. I do so like offensive. the idea that, uh, you know, I think when we when the trailer first popped, a lot of people's initial impressions were like, oh, wouldn't Peter's spider sense have, wouldn't he have known that the dart was going to shoot Ned or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wouldn't he have sensed that Samuel Jackson was in the room? Right. And all that was kind of explained. And I also like that when I saw like a couple articles, you know, circulating before the movie actually released of like, they're calling the spider sense Peter Tingle. Oh my fucking! This is fucking dumb. That Stan was ruined beforehand. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't Stan Lee. That. Stan Lee is rolling over in his grave, and it's like, well, they make fun of it in the movie, yeah. so I feel like that's kind of justified. You know? It's interesting because we we haven't really the only time where we see anything before this movie where it's it seemed like spider senses was when he's sitting. Yeah, and then the hairs go up. War. So, in yeah, Infinity War. No. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like. I kind of feel like he like hadn't developed it yet. So like this is where from now on, whenever it comes up again, I think that he's gonna have to name it something real, and then we'll get the actual Spider yeah. Sense. Yeah, I would imagine. Yeah. Right by the time we see him again, he's yeah. calling it Spider Sense. Somebody starts yeah. to say Peter Tingler, like yeah. Spider Sense. Yeah, that's what yeah. it is. You know but I but, I but this is why I, I like these movies because they they know when to stick with tradition and kind of when to throw out the window. Totally. Right, like these movies. Aunt May just immediately figuring out that he's Spider-Man because he's a dumb kid and didn't fucking hide it well. Genius at at the end of Homecoming, right? Which is like, what the fuck? And it cuts. And in this one, we're going to get Mary Jane like, yeah, I kind of figured out that it was you. I wasn't quite sure, but like, we're in Washington and all of a sudden you say it. Like, I I like that the characters are a little smarter and we're fucking around with convention here. I also thought it was really cool in that same line that we didn't have to get like seeing her deal with that. It was just like, okay, sometime later, she's cool with your being Spider-Man. Yeah. 
Yeah. What's she going to do? Uh, so, yeah, people keep knocking on the door. I we keep getting interrupted. Nick Fury keeps getting interrupted. When they come back, so they keep funny. putting the tense music on, and then they'll get interrupted <laughs> yeah. again. That's great. And then finally, he's, yeah, after Martin Starr comes in again, she's like, do you need any counseling? Good, because I'm not I'm not, a, I'm not <laughs> qualified, 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 qualified for that. For that. Uh, he's like, we got to get the fuck out of this hotel. I'm going to kill the next person who comes in. Uh, Spider-Man suits up. They bounce out. They go to their little secret HQ where you walk in, and it's it's uh, Maria Hill. It's some weird big guy who Holy looks like. Holy smolders, that's her name. Sorry. Yeah, Maria Hill and some b- weird big guy. So here's the weird thing about the big guy. Is that gonna be? Mm-hmm. Is that guy the vampire? What the hell is he gonna do? The vampire. Morbius. He, 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 that was like no Morbius. <laughs> when he was popped like, up, I was just be? like, he's not. He's not. A, this isn't. Shit. Yeah, this yeah. is in Nick Fury. Well, so it it's his name was Dimitri. Yeah. yeah. Dimitri is chameleon. That, At least chameleon's name is Dimitri. Is that chameleon? I don't know. But the way that the you know Homecoming Spider Man universe has kind of been built, they really everybody's named something that is someone, right? Like was last the, movie, did he we end got up being the blonde tinkler. Was he the blonde? The Who was the blonde that gave him the suit? Was that was he just the chameleon in disguise? Oh, I doubt it. The maybe. blonde. Do you remember when James maybe. took the photo yeah. of him and the blonde? Yeah, yeah maybe. But uh, Brad, like the Tinkerer and the Prowler and mm-hmm. Shocker, yeah. and like, like last movie and Scorpion. It's like they're, they're building the universe of Spider Man. Yeah, and like I'm, the, he would not be named Dimitri if it, he Fair. wasn't. The That's, I mean, I, I assume he had to be someone. But it's just weird because it's like whose team is he on? Because maybe this he would goes imply to Jake that oh, team he's on with Shield. Yeah, but that's just weird because like he was. Working with Mysterio, I don't know. Who, how was he working with Mysterio? He wasn't. He wasn't working with Mysterio. They, they had gotten tricked. The scroll well, got you have tricked. To, you figure maybe he just goes over to the other team because he's got all the training from from them. Yeah, and it's okay. all murky right now. But anyways, yeah, Dimitri is Mysterio, or is Chameleon. Cool. I think at uh, this point he gave him the the package from Tony or whatever. Maybe he does it right after this kind of speech. But Spider Man leaves in a huff, so I'm just gonna say he gave it to him before him. Uh, he comes in. Mysterio meets Spider Man. We're revealed that there's a multiverse. This is Earth six one six. Mysterious from whatever the fucking two somewhere in the two hundreds, if I remember correctly. Uh, Wait, I'm sorry. Uh, the that bit is interesting. So Earth six one six is the prime universe, prime universe that the Marvel uni- or Marvel comics, comics are based in. Um, and the other one that they put there was Earth 833, which okay. is uh, Spider UK's universe. William Braddock, who is just the UK Spider-Man. But we're in the UK, so that's cool. And that, that's, I think, the fun reference they're trying to make there. Um, but that all turns out to not be true. It's all a lie from Mysterio. Um, and they are not in 616. The MCU universe is Earth 199999. Oh, um, so that's number. a fun thing. Uh, but that was... <laughs> confirmed right. in, um, a terrible there was moment. a some universe thing where there was a bunch of different multiverse stuff going on and there was a Captain Marvel there was a comic where Captain Marvel from the movies was in the comic for a little bit Neat. so it's like that's the reveal of that and then Earth I, 1610 is the ultimate universe I just don't know if I've ever felt cooler like sitting in a theater and having someone as cool looking as Jake Gyllenhaal in a cool ass suit, such a cool suit. Saying the words Earth six one six, I'm just like, ah, I just, mm-hmm. I just want, I, I'll listen. To you talk about anything, dude. You look so cool. He's I want a great hair. God, he jealous of his fucking hair the entire time. I just want to be him, man. I want his hair he's, and he's yeah. super nice. And when he's acting nice, he's a nice yeah. guy here. He's I super know, nice. He's exactly. Super cool. It's so endearing. He's just like he's your bro. He's like, nah, he's, got that, yeah. well, he's got that. He's got that great moment like, in this scene as well, where where uh, what's his name cuts him off, like a uh, Fury cuts Peter off, and Peter's like, sorry. And Jake Gyllenhaal goes, don't ever apologize for being the smartest guy in the room. Right. When when he's nerding out about yeah, how, yeah. This, uh, which I thought was uh, nice. multiverse would work. We also have a scene that I liked when there, I think when he first introduces him. To Mysterio, and he goes, Mysterio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Mysterio's like, Mysterio. That's what, that's what, yeah. that's what my friend's talking <laughs> Well, then later on when he addresses him yes. by his name, he's Mysterio. He's just yeah. such a cracks cool up bro. Yeah. God, I love yeah, him. Yeah, he's a really cool. <laughs> and like, it's, yeah, it's, he's manipulative. Exactly. Yeah. He's, like, he's doing it perfectly. He's, he's coming in to be like fucking Tony Stark. It's right? like how well like, nice to you. Oh. oh shit! Fuck! Yeah, we didn't though. tell him. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> not that good. Are they? <laughs> uh, so yeah, we lay out the plan here. Elementals are here. They destroyed Mysterio's homeworld, but he's here to save this planet from not doing that again. This is the thing, and they've targeted to these places, and they've got it all figured out. And there's t- the, the big lava monsters coming, and we gotta make sure we don't stop him because he's gonna kill stuff if he gets to the Earth's core. All right, cool, great, we got it. That's the thing. Great. I'm Spider Man. I don't want to do this. Hit up any of the other people. They're all gone. Right? They run through the whole thing. Uh, cool. I don't want to do this. I'm on vacation. We're going to Paris tomorrow. I'm not even going. I can't go that way. I can't go to Prague or whatever. And I'm like, oh, you can't? Okay. And then they did the same thing. It's convenient your trip came here. And he's like, wait, wasn't it? Is it convenient? <laughs> and it's like, all right, cool. See you later. And they, he goes home. And then uh, then the next morning they wake up and they go down there. And guess what? No, they're going to Prague now. The, the trip's been upgraded. And like, oh, Nick, Nick Fury just hijacked our summer vacation. And so they're on the Millions bus. Millions out there. 
Yeah, exactly. He lives <laughs> out there with his little son. Looking like a fucking merc. Like yeah. He's going to kill anybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, they climb on the bus. They're driving uh, over to Prague now. Everything's really going well. Then they make a stop uh, for bathrooms or whatever. Everybody's real upset. Uh, Chameleon won't talk to Martin Starr about stuff. Uh, they come off the bus. They are all going to go to the bathroom. But then, you know, he the chameleon stops Peter and he's like, you got to go to that other place. And so he goes in the other place. There's a woman in there. She's like, you got to take this thing. It's a, You got to get naked right now and put on this suit because you said you didn't want to spider-man can't be seen uh floating around these people because of course then uh they'd know that spider-man is from midtown high and then all this other stuff so you gotta whisper he's like okay and then she keeps really demanding that he gets naked and so finally he starts getting naked this is when james walks in he's like whoa and peter's like it's not what you think james and james is like i'm getting out of here it's fine but he takes a picture he's what an a asshole fucking prick so at this point, i was like let the drone kill him we don't yeah. need we this even know about the jeans pool. Yeah. We don't need this no, fucking no jeans in the future pool. Or did we know about the jeans? Did, did he put Edith on in before the bus stop? No, 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 no. this is afterward. Here's what I would have done. Oh, no, no not, he did. He did he it before. Did. He put Edith before in. the bus stops, he puts he opens up the Nick Fury package. It is in fact the glasses from Tony Stark. He puts them on. There's a biometric scan. There, Peter is Edith, which stands of course for even, uh, even dead. I'm still the hero. I'm, yeah. the hero. I'm the hero. I'm the hero. Even, even dead, I'm the hero. It's so really good. And, and really there's good. a little note that's find the next Iron Man, or for the, for the next Iron Man. Uh, and he just expresses it, that, hey, this is the thing. We got all the crazy ass Stark defense systems here. You can do whatever. He's looking around. He can see, he's reading people's, te- he can see people's texts popping up. Uh, Ned and Betty next to each other saying, I miss you. It's fucking funny. So. <laughs> what happened to, to Jennifer Connelly? She just got, we don't need her anymore for an AI. This is some bullshit. That's all I'm saying. He's not really in his suit for the most part. But like we're just gonna retcon her out. Like he had this. No, great at some point he'll need suit lady again. He'll talk to Karen. Yeah, okay. He'll talk to Karen. Don't worry. Well, I, just, I like Karen. That's all I'm saying. Also, I feel like the having to put on the sunglasses to control this thing, not great when you're like, you know, being Spider Man and you can't put on sunglasses. Well, yeah, sure, but yeah. I mean, he, you know, you know, know this is Tony Stark's thing. It's just the key. I'm sure you can integrate it as Mysterio does into a million other pieces of tech. I'm sure at some point it's he true. could hook the glasses up to his suit and be like, I don't think here. he's serious either. I think he w- had to wear the sunglasses the whole time. No, Legitimately, I mean, there's a scene where the, his hacker friend's working on the computer and the sunglasses are next to it, wired into a whole bunch of different yeah. things. No, I don't think so. Yeah, Upload well, to the Edith Network is whatever the fuck. Yeah, I don't, I don't Edith Finch, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That. What remains of her? Uh, so that's cool. I got a defense network, network at my uh, fingertips. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm Spider-Man. Meanwhile, then uh, we get the photo taken of him by James. James goes back on the bus. Everybody gets back so on the bus. Call him Brad. Isn't he named Brad? No, I don't think so. No. Uh, we climb back on the bus, and we're there. And uh, now Peter's uh, panicking of how to stop this photo from being shown to MJ because James is like legitimately like, "Hey, we both like MJ. I'm gonna show this to her." And Peter's like, "That's a dick move, James." But okay, whatever. He gets in, he puts the glasses on, and we gotta stop this thing. And he can see texts, right? And so I, it's it's very convoluted how he does this. But he's, she, basically, they execute a drone strike on <laughs> on James. But that's we also like where cut we... to space, and there's yeah. a satellite that pops a fucking drone out. <laughs> right. That's also and where it we comes kind out of like damn meteor. It's amazing. Oh, no, you're good. Well, that's where we kind of get, get like the the character turn for James Brand. Sure. Yeah, um, yeah. James, just call him by his given where, where like, you know, it was always just sort of thrown out there that, yes, he's this good looking dude, but he's also incredibly super nice. And I just kind of expected him to be this super nice, overbearing he's dude. You're just like, shut the fuck up. Get out of here, dude. And then he eventually like turned and he was like, no, I like her too. And I don't yeah. fucking want... And it's like, you know why? Yeah, but That's he the does only the option. thing. Yeah. He does the thing that kids would do. Where it's like, I just have like, I just want her to be happy and have her best interests in mind. And mm-hmm. you're like, no, you don't, dude. You're trying to get in there. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah. it's just a piece You know of why shit. they did this, Andy? It's called the Superman Returns conundrum of James uh-huh. Marsden, right? Lois's uh, husband. They have a kid together, yeah. right? You're and you're waiting. Oh, he's gonna be Metallo. He's gonna turn into a bad guy. That's why I won't feel guilty when inevitably Clark and Lois are reunited. Mm-hmm. And what happens by the end of that movie? No, James Marsden's a very nice guy. And we're left in a very weird moral Almost conundrum. Almost dies to save Was his wife. Was he even alive in this moment? Was he alive at the time? As James a human Marsden? being, yeah, like an Marsden. actor. Yeah, yeah. Superman, Superman Returns. returns. Brandon uh, Routh. That's the one that. Two thousand six. Yeah, it was like. Is the kid? Uh, is the kid with the dumb face? Class yeah, you of guys 06. don't like his face. Yeah. Oh, it's class of 06, dude. It's the one where the Nickelback dog eats the other dog. Song. Look at this photograph. <laughs> you got it. You nailed it. You brought me back around on that joke. Sorry. Uh, the drone's coming in. It's going to shoot. It shoots once. And like, ah, oh, Peter like does some stuff. And then like, it's going to come. He can't cancel the glasses. Get knocked. Oh, Flash takes the glasses. Then he knocks out Flash by accident. Then he, the glasses moment. are there. She's like, you just knock out Flash? No. And then everybody starts getting freaked out. And he grabs the thing. And then uh, he basically gets them all to look out the side window by saying, look, cute baby goats or whatever. And then he jumps up and through the emergency exit. It's like the slow-mo. And he goes, and he fucking webs and throws the thing down and crashes the drone and then lands back. Cool choreography. Cool idea. I didn't like the execution. Didn't work. Of yeah. yeah, this just didn't work for me either. I was like, hey, something's off. The, it's the point and like, hey, look at that. And then being like, 
I love baby goats. <laughs> Literally, Did you see I it. Goes. I was okay with that. It no, was just more just like the the look of it all. I was like, mm, no. it's weird. Yeah, like it needed to happen fast. Yeah, and they they were like, let's do this in slow mo with him jumping up. I thought it would have been cooler if he was like, look, and then boom. Pow, yeah. Down. Although and when he got back like, down, his hair looked way cooler. True. Yeah. And they make a note to that. She's yeah. like, I gotta say, your new look. You think we don't notice? But we did. It's working. Yeah. yeah. We noticed. Right, babe? <laughs> so great. So great. So great. So yeah. then now we roll up in Prague, right? We get there. Mm-hmm. We drop all our bags. All this stuff's happening. Like, uh, all right, cool. We know we have to fight the elemental monster. We uh, go to a meeting, I think, right? About this elemental monster. Well, they go to the hotel first, right? Sure. It's this amazing hotel. Sure. Mm. Uh, yeah, they've been upgraded to that. Uh, and then he, they get... Uh, we're going to yeah, the fuck. opera. No, not yet, no, though, no, right? Because no, no, it has to be expressed. Like, you have to keep uh, all your friends safe distance away. Like, right. I think there's. A, I think this mm. is the meeting where he... We, we go back and we're in the stealth suit and we're talking about what the plan is. Peter's distracted. He's like, no, this is the plan or whatever. Then he goes outside to mope or whatever, right? And that's when Mysterio comes back and sits next to him. It's like, I know this isn't fair that you have to do this, but you're doing a great job kind of thing. Gives him the mentor speech or whatever. Do you have sarcasm on this plan? Yeah, it's great. Right, 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 right. This is the, his chatty or no, Gabby Gabby moment from yeah. Toy Story 4 where he's getting the information from Peter that sure. he'll later use against him. Sure, 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 sure. Uh, then I thought it was, but maybe I'm conf- conf- conflating it all. It doesn't really matter. Then it's time to go out, uh, but we can't obviously have the people go out, so they've done another uh, Nick Fury move here of they're no longer, they all got free tickets to the opera that are really expensive, so they all have to go to the opera rather than the giant carnival out there that just likes, like sex, drugs, and rock and roll. But will they make it to the opera? We'll have to find out in a second. Ladies and wow. gentlemen, this episode Whoa. is brought to you by Liquid IV. Liquid IV is the fastest, most efficient way to stay hydrated. If you're trying to drink more water, Liquid IV hydrates you two to three times faster and more efficiently than water alone with an added bonus of vitamin C, B3, B5, B6, and B12. So Sorry, I was giving it, it, it to you. I yeah, was giving it to you. You've been using this Liquid IV. I you have. Been liking yeah. this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I get the, the giant bottle of water. Like the huge ones, the the Evian or whatever, and I believe it's a you use one little packet for every sixteen ounces. I believe that mm-hmm. sounds right. That sounds and, yeah, and I, I I think I use like two or three based on how much water's in there, mm-hmm. and I go to the basketball courts and I'm just dominating. Whoa. Yeah, dominating Greg. Oh, Todd. Oh, Todd. All Liquid IV products utilize cellular transport technology, a.k.a. CTT. A specific ratio of glucose, which is pure cane sugar, sodium, which is mined salt, and potassium, when mixed with 16 ounces of water, helps your body absorb more of the water and nutrients you drink directly into your bloodstream. It can provide the same hydration as drinking two to three bottles of water. It's a healthy alternative to traditional sugary sports drinks. There's no artificial flavors or preservatives. Liquid IV fuels tough workouts helps Andy prevent muscle fatigue and promotes healthy post-workout recovery when he's shooting them hoops. Uh, Andy loves his liquid IV and I know that you will too. Right now my listeners get 25% off at liquidiv.com when you use code KFMS at checkout. That's 25% off anything you order on Liquid IV's website. You can go to liquidiv.com enter code KFMS to get your savings and start getting better hydration now. Don't wait. Start properly hydrating today. That's liquidiv.com. Promo code KFMS. And also, shout out to HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit, get easy seasonal recipes and pre-measured ingredients delivered right to your door. All you have to do is cook and enjoy. HelloFresh makes cooking delicious meals at home a reality regardless of your comfort in the kitchen. You can say goodbye to endless grocery store trips and take out food. HelloFresh has you covered, just like Gia has me covered with that sweet, sweet beef ragu spaghetti with zucchini and Italian seasoning. Oh, yeah. It was just as good as it sounds. How can you say the word beef? <laughs> Break out of your dinner rut with our 17 seasonal <laughs> chef curated <laughs> recipes each week. Pretty There's something vacation. for everyone from family <laughs> recipes to calorie smart and Thanks. vegetarian and fun menu series like Hall of Fame and Kraft Burgers. You can add extra meals to your weekly order as well as yummy sides like garlic bread and cookie dough. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, For $80 off your first month of HelloFresh, go to HelloFresh.com slash Morning80 and enter Morning80. That's HelloFresh.com slash Morning80. Enter Morning80 for $80 off your first month of HelloFresh. Go check it out. You can get $20 off your first four boxes. It's fantastic. It's like receiving eight meals free. Wow. 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 HelloFresh.com slash Morning80. 
Did like, they make it to the opera? I like it when you so- say beef. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with well, it? He's a weirdo. I don't, I don't like it, man. Also, did I you ever put your erection into your friend's ear, is what he said in this episode. <laughs> Wait, shut up, shut up. He's coming back. He's coming back. Uh, so, uh, Tim, let me tell you, they do make it. They all walk through the streets. They're all crabby about it. They all have their nice outfit that he forced them to pack. Uh, they get there. Only old people are in this empty-ass opera house, and it seems like it's going to be a bad time. But, of course, James is like, I'll save you. See them, James. And he walks over there, and MJ stops, and she turns to Peter, and she's like, what What if we share the opera glasses? What if we hang out together? What if we sit next to each other? And Peter's like, it's all happening. It's finally going the way I want to. This is amazing, right? This is love. And then this he gets the love. voice. This is love. And in the ear, it is, of course, Nick Fury asking him a question at the same time she asks a question. Uh, Do you want to sit together, I think, right? And he's like, no, because it's Nick Fury trying to stop him. And she's like, oh, and then he's like, he tries to cover, and he's like, I, yes, I want to sit with you, blah, blah, blah. She you goes, get the classic, uh, you know, I'm in, I'll, I'm in your ear leading you through this date, mm-hmm. but you get that classic sort of comedic moment totally, and I love totally. that stuff uh, and so he bounces off and guess what it's time to go he's got to go so he pulls Ned aside he's like Ned you got to tell her I got sick I got to go and why does he, he trust Ned he to do the, stuff because Ned does it he nails it he says he's, shitting, he's sure. shitting, his, shitting his pants don't worry mm-hmm. you know what I mean mm-hmm. and he leans back and, and he's like this longing look and you see James look back flick him off and then move and sit next to MJ. You're like, I, enjoy, I enjoyed the flick off. I you was like, oh, asshole James. Uh, the heel turns completed. Brad, yeah. I love that you're Spidey committing to it and you have to say the name a billion times. I know. It's it's almost like this is your first in review. Mm-hmm. Here's what I would do. Just spider webs down the, the throat and the esophagus. Wow. Just kill him. Wow. Just, just kill him. Just not stop Oh my God. It's a lot. It's just <laughs> coming out of everywhere. Coming out of everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> That's Jesus, what man. I would do. Yeah. Seems like a non spidey move. You know what I mean? Yeah. More like a venom, yeah. like a venom move. MCU you know? Spidey. Different. Spidey. And he's in love now. <laughs> Spidey Man bounce backs over there. He gets on his stealth suit. It's time for him to love get ready for this. The, 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 he's gonna, you know, basically play lookout when he sees the old lava monster. He'll know that's the time to yell it out, and they'll go. It's a weak plan, but whatever. Cool. I don't understand. Really, I don't think, I don't think it's gonna be that hard to see the lava monster. But cool. That's the thing. Whatever. <laughs> that's your plan, Spidey. Go get it. I'm glad they're wasting your life for this shit. Meanwhile, at the opera, the other kids were like, well, if he's not going to be here, we don't have to be here. This fucking sucks. And they leave. And uh, even Flash comes with them right now. Yes. Yeah. No, no, that was later. No, James. James yeah. is the one who comes with them. So they go outside and they're out now in the streets of Carnival where they shouldn't be. And Ned's like, we shouldn't be out here because Ned, of course, knows the, the plan and why Ned just doesn't say, let's just, we, guys, we can't be outside or whatever. Because he's an FOS. Friend of Spider. <laughs> exactly. And uh, he, they're like, we can't, we got to get away from people. And Betty's like, oh, we'll get into this uh, Ferris wheel. Then we'll be totally away from people. And all right, great. And MJ's like, I'm just going to walk over to this like a uh, statue that looks weird. And it's like, all right. And like, cool. That's what, how we're going to do. And then pff, this lava monster comes out. Oh, no, the lava monster. The lava ah, monster. Ah. And Spidey's like, I see him, everybody. And then he sees like all hell's breaking loose. He's like, oh, no. And he can't do anything. His webs are melting when he tries to shoot him. Spider Man's got no powers available. Mysterio shows up. He's like, I got this one. And he's flying around shooting shit doing shit uh they're getting closer to the, the if he gets metal remember he, he gets real big so then he's going to get into the molten core of the the earth and then he's going to take over the earth and destroy it like mysterious so he's walking around looking for metal just gobbling it up nom 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 if you if you're lost right now listener or viewer just imagine if garfield was there and the world was lasagna but the yes. world that it was yes. just metal yes. metal is What's lasagna the core? like the meatball more or less the filling of lasagna okay. yeah like just yeah. that meat sauce hot. yeah, yeah. Meat you sauce. Some lasagna right bad man. Man. oh mad man uh, Fireman is based off Molten Man. Gotcha. Which mm-hmm. in the comics is uh, Liz Allen's brother. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, that's happening. Uh, the Ferris wheel gets damaged. It starts leaning. Spider Man swings. Spider Man actually gets knocked into it, and then he's down there. Betty's like, "Is that Spider Man?" And Ned's like, "No, that's not at all. That's um uh, Night, Night Monkey. Monkey. <laughs> that's Night Monkey. He's the UK version. He's knockoff Spider Man." And so Night Monkey's at, on the job now. He's webbing up stuff, trying to keep things from falling over, doing it the best he can here. Uh, it's not looking good though. Of course, uh, Mysterio's like, "I got one chance. I got one thing to do. This world won't die like my world did." Well, we also get that one shot where he he webs the thing and it. Pulls oh, it the, pulls something out. It pulls the projector off. We don't right. It's, it's, and when he tries, to, yeah, at okay. one point he tries to web the uh, yeah. Uh, he, the Ferris he goes wheel. to web the Ferris wheel, and we yeah. don't. This is a moment that I think they could have like showed a little bit better because you're like, what? The That's fuck was exactly that? what I was about to say. Yeah. I was about to say what happened visually where he webs something and then something happened that clearly didn't look right. And I, I didn't even put it together. Yeah, that it was the that was me, that totally, mm. I totally did miss the subplot here of his spider sense not working. So, or you know, like I, I obviously remember the banana scene, but I didn't connect that too. That's a much bigger problem that we have confidence and yada yada. But when that happened, I was like, oh okay, this is how they're gonna get him. This is the MacGuffin. Got it. Mm. Uh, anyways, yeah, good call, Nick. Yank set off the Ferris wheel. Uh, then Mysterio's like, I gotta kill this guy. No, I'm not gonna die like my world. When he shoots into his chest and everything goes green, there's a giant green explosion. Should have done last time, but like yeah. real cheesy. Yeah, it was great. It's great. Yeah. yeah. 
yeah. And so then Mysterio's laying on the ground and Spider-Man goes down there. He's not dead. Hip, hip, hooray. We beat the elementals. Everything's good. Mysterio's a good guy. This is amazing. And Mysterio's like, we should get a drink. And so they go off to a bar. We also have the, the Samuel Jackson moment where he's like, I want you to join the Avengers or whatever. And he's like, I might take you up on that offer or whatever. Yeah, it's we're just, going to the department or we're going yeah. to like, uh, what's the international police organization? Interpol. Interpol. Yeah. We're going just, to Interpol. Berlin. Something they were going to Berlin, right? I just want him to yeah. be good. Like, yeah, totally know, right. Throughout yeah, all yeah. this, I just I want, I want to be your friend. Yeah, like, yeah, I totally. want him to be a good guy. But he's, and that's he's what's driven. Shit. That's what's driven home. Oh, of course, MJ picked up the piece of uh, projector, by the way. Uh, this is driven home. We go to a bar. Yeah, and there's all these, again, back to like, what are the what is it? What are his rules of exactly. secret identity right now? Exactly. Uh, they've done this. And the world kind of knows about Mysterio. They've got video of him be, being awesome. And Jake Gyllenhaal is not in the full suit, but close enough suit. And Spider Man's in the Night Monkey suit, close enough Spider Monkey suit that other normal people are around them. And you're just like, I feel like a lot of people would have questions about what the fuck uh, you're yeah, wearing. Yeah, just feeling Prague are just having you know a good time. They're all drunk. They're all yeah, drunk. Like the goat they're all yeah, they're drunk. Yeah. <laughs> so they're sitting there and they're drinking. Spider Man's drinking what ginger ale? I forget what it lemonade. was. Lemonade. And uh, uh, Jake's having a beer. You know, a guy you want to have a beer with. And basically, Spider Man's going through recounting like, like hey, man, I just w. don't feel like I'm up to this, and I just can't do anything, and I'm screwing everything up, and I can't handle this responsibility. And a woman comes by and picks up the Eve glasses, and, like you drop these things. Like, oh shit, fuck it. And, and Jake was like, oh, this is on the ground. Like, come on, man. And he's like not mean about it, but he's like, oh man, like, yeah, maybe you are having trouble. And then it clicks into Spidey's mind of like, wait a second, you, you couldn't save your world, but you're here and you saved this world and you almost gave your life for it. And you're this awesome stand up dude and you've lost everything. Like the note isn't that I'm the next Iron Man. It's that I'm to find the next Iron Man. Put these on and you look like Iron Man. That's kind of what triggered, triggered mm -hmm. it actually. And he's like, Edith, I want to pass ownership over to uh, Mysterio here. And he's like, okay. And he gives me like, wow, uh, this is a big responsibility, but thanks. Peter. And he rejects it, tries to get away a million he times. He fell for it just like I did, you know, I would have Give him the glasses immediately. Yeah. I wouldn't have even waited an extra yeah. day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got great hair. <laughs> and so it's like, all right, all is well, it's in. Well, I'm going to go back to my class trip. It's been nice hanging out with you, Mysterio. I'm glad you have all the weapons in the world that could end everything. And Mysterio's like, totally not a bad guy. See you later. And so he leaves. And then you get this really weird, creepy, awesome scene. This is where the movie like uh, fucking right. goes. Yeah. This is yeah. such a so good scene. scene. Where, yeah, it all starts going out. And like, his voice Most changes. people start to disappearing, but not every person starts. Right. And they're all and looking weird. I think weird. that was the key for me yeah. that like made this special because it's like, sure, this movie doesn't have the vulture Michael Keaton moment of at answering the door on that level, but I feel like it has a lot that are almost there. Yeah, where there was. I was constantly surprised by an element that I thought I wouldn't be surprised by. And this was one of them where I'm like, oh, cool. Okay, he's this is all a, a fake thing. It's like, oh, but there's no, no. Oh, you have a team. Oh, my mm -hmm. God, this is awesome. Right. And so, yeah, then it, it, we've done it, everybody. And they're like, speech. And he's like, oh, no, speech. Oh, I got a speech. And he, he gets somebody's very. He's something to like a Joker voice. Yeah, he's super like, theatrical. Yeah. We got it. Yeah. Yeah, like, it's just like. That his, wasn't that hard. His voice <laughs> just turned like into a kind of comedic like Riddler voice. So, yeah, voice. It's, it's the reveal that he's kind of awesome. like. The, he's kind of got the plot of the Riddler from Batman forever right where uh, Jim Carrey you know is a too, bit too much enigma you're fucking with people's minds and this is the same thing where of yeah. course uh, we get the flashback to Civil War Civil War yeah, yeah the where barf tech. exactly barf tech right and he's backstage barf and like, I love how they did like the uh, the Ant-Man style like spoken over of like him backstage talking it was great yeah. slice on story and then it's revealed of course yeah Obadiah Stane's number two is right there like <laughs> Don't you from? I never thought we was were going to see Obadiah Stane again was that the real actor was that the I think they brought him back nice. like really? from, I was watching a, a video today I was like things you missed or whatever and it's like I think that clip was from the movie yeah. from the first awesome. movie that's that was awesome. great uh, who, then they had a whole bunch of different people they have one other person for, no they the didn't guy, was it yeah, just that, those two the I guy that wrote the story but he, I forget what yeah he didn't have any bad yeah but he didn't have I'm talking like there was no in other terms of like fun like flashbacks. they were there, there I think was it was just one, the two. Oh man really oh okay I could have yeah. sworn there was one extra flashback never mind they, sh they all should have had him IMO because yeah. that was so great that it would have been rad to see like here are all these other underlings that have been passed over for promotions and shit like that let me just give a quick shout out to like this is how you make a cinematic a cinematic universe Hell yeah because like now it's like man i kind of want to watch iron man again to see that scene and iron it's man a good one, movie, you know? uh so they got it they've got the tech now they can continue their plan to become basically the superhero they want to be the thing so iron everybody man. looks up to them because people will believe anything nowadays uh we're going to jump back over to the hotel uh, everybody's back. We, Peter walks back in. He's like, I can finally enjoy this trip. And everybody's like, we're going home tomorrow. They're panicking. Like, uh, we keep almost dying everywhere we go. So the parents are definitely want us back home on a plane that could easily be smacked out of the air by any other god or monster that comes to them. Mm -hmm. And like, all right, cool. Peter's not cool with this. Peter hates this plan. But so, but this is it. 
in true high school fashion, he's going to take his last ditch effort, right? And he talks to MJ outside, and she goes back in her room, and then he does that thing where he's almost going to leave. He's like, no, and he comes back, and he knocks on the door, or goes knocking on the door. She opens the door. He's like, you want to get out of here and meet me downstairs in 10 minutes? She's like, I'll meet you there in five. And he's like, ooh, I like that. And so they, then they meet, and they ooh, downstairs, like and they walk out, and they're, they're having a good conversation on the bridge, and he's like, I'm going to give you, the, he's got the Black Dahlia thing. He's all set to give it to her. And he's like, I have something to tell you, and he's beating around the bush. And finally, she's like, he's like, I got us. And she's like, you're, you're Spider-Man. And he's like, what? And they go back and forth, and he denies the fact that he's Spider-Man or whatever for a long time. How would you be Spider-Man? And she's like, oh, well, of course, you, or, you, the Washington Monument, like you were there for that. And then all this stuff's happening. And then night he's monkey. like, no, night, that was Night Monkey. And she pulls out the Mysterio uh, drone piece that's got web on it. She's like, oh, Night Monkey uses the same webs as Spider-Man. And then it's the thing. Spider Monkey. He says Spider Monkey. Yeah, it's yeah. Spider Monkey, right? Uh, the thing starts going. You see the swirls. You see all this stuff. And like, what the fuck is happening? Blah, blah. That and shit it, looks so scary. Yeah, so. Yeah, Oh, <laughs> love it. Peter puts it together and looks at her and he's like, all right, I am Spider-Man. We got, I've really fucked up. We got to get out of here. We got to find Nick Fury. We got to fix this thing or whatever. And her awesome reaction. Like, are you, are you serious right now? I was like, 67%. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was 67% sure. Uh, uh, and she's like so excited that she figured it out. So they all run, they run back to his hotel. He starts putting on the night monkey outfit. Well, actually probably flashback at this point to uh, Mysterio who's testing out his next big yep. thing, the big reveal or whatever. And he's doing the thing you're talking about with the theatrics of like, turn it up 20% or whatever. Oh, yeah. double it up. Blah, blah, blah. And then, uh, one of those things wigs out and he's like, why is this wig or his hand wigs out? He's like, why is my hand wigging out? And like, oh, the thing came back damaged. He's like, this is the kind of mistakes we can't make. The drones come up on him. Like, I, that we'll figure yeah. it out. And he puts on, or this is when it was uh, Edith and like they clicked over, I think. I don't think he had it. I think no, it was the computer. So. And it was like, uh, what's going on? They scan it. They find it immediately on the London Bridge. Ah, oh, shit. Like, what a small world. It's so awesome. I love, I love how you know, practical they're making it. Even though none of this is like possible at all. Yeah. But I just love how you know, the projector not being there is fucking up this thing. We can't mm -hmm. have this, guys. You know, I love yeah. how, like, Very it's, realistic, still, it it's seems, so rooted yeah. in reality. You know? But yeah. it was, it's cool that he's in the motion capture suit. Yeah. yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. And totally. Like, so fucking That's cool. Rad. I thought they did a really good job with the um, <laughs> using the drones and stuff and explaining how it works throughout the movie because I had so many questions when the when Mysterio was going and the water, like, actually physically pushed um, and then Peter, they show it later. I was like, oh, yeah. how did they do that? It's like, oh, there's the propulsion shit. And it's like, mm -hmm. how, oh, how's their actual sparks and real damage being caused? The thing is like, oh, they're fucking shooting stuff. It's like, right. yeah. God, well, they, they and they showed the, they showed that. later they showed the ones underwater, yeah. like yeah. doing all that stuff too. So, so tight. Yeah, it's just it's a, tight. Uh, then so I, uh, Mysterio's like, fuck, now nah, when I gotta kill Peter Parker and everybody he loves, it's on your the blood's on your hands. Oh, but I stain number two. And so then we jump back to the hotel and Peter's like, all right, I gotta go turn around. I gotta get dressed. And she she turns around because he starts getting naked and then she starts. Looking looking at it. it was really cute and then he's dressed as night spider what do you got? we got to do it so this i didn't see this scene greg oh no oh, and here it is ladies and gentlemen i was what like you, that doesn't sound you've all been instead of rank those abs which this scene would have been you're gonna get a new segment called two oh this one mm -hmm. nick scarpino is fucking crazy hit the song <laughs> hit the song andy i don't know man nick 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 Scarpino's fucking crazy. Nick, 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 Nick Scarpino's fucking crazy. Hey, everybody, welcome to episode one of Nick Scarpino's fucking crazy. So, <laughs> we're in the movie theater, and it's sold out. It's jam-packed. Uh, the seats we had were if you it, it, we're in Dolby Theater here in SF, but basically what you need to know is like there's the floor section, then there's that wall up and then the, the rows become we're the one right off the floor where if the next thing in front of us is the floor section we're at there we're all sitting there and everything's fine we're enjoying this <laughs> fine. fine mcu movie mm, mm. and what i Have see a great time to my right and to my right is jen then nick then andy what i see to my right jen, is jen andy then nick oh my apologies yeah. uh once it's my wife i don't care what's on the other side you know what i mean me neither <laughs> Nice I see Nick stand up, but do his little hunch up, and he's. I'm like, oh, he's finally got to go to the bathroom. He's leaving, but it was one of those things where there was like a more frantic motion to what was <laughs> happening, and he came towards Andy and me and Jen and me, and then stopped and then went forward, <laughs> where all there is is a wall and then about five foot drop. And what I see is Nick's little hunched over body go to the wall, <laughs> throw a leg over, and then disappear. And then what sounds like 15 minutes of silence and whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah. And it was this. I was like, what did that just happen? To which I then see Nick still in the hunched over form, stand up as high as he can, hunched over, and then scutter, scatter away. It looks like away. Solid Snake sneak into a level. Yeah. Like he yeah. ran so much faster than I expected him to run after hearing that. Thud, and then like half second of silence, and then 
and he did like a Naruto style <laughs> run. <laughs> I was so in front funny. of you guys. Yeah. So we were like in the third row. So yeah. I, we just hear this fucking noise. I have never heard a noise like that in a theater. It was so weird where everyone stopped and like looked back like, what the fuck just happened? Like yeah. something sounds seriously wrong. Yeah. And like, like me oh, and you were just like looking around. And then I just see Nick <laughs> Naruto run around. <laughs> and I see he's the one walking out. And I'm like, it was Nick. Yeah. Like, Whatever yeah. just happened yeah, yeah, yeah. was Nick Scott. So here's you know. what went through my mind. I stood up, <laughs> and I never sit in the middle of the theater because I was at the piece. I'm usually like toward the end, so I don't have to get that many people out. But I looked over, I was like, ah, oh, it's too far. I looked over, I was like, ah, oh, it's too far. And then I thought, it'll be so funny if I go over this because only Andy will see. And like, <laughs> no one will know that I did it, right? Because I'll just sneak over it real quick. And like, I was going to look back at Andy. And like wink at him as I went over. <laughs> but what happened is I went and I started to go and I and it was that toilet that thing where you jump over one side of the fence and it's hella like small, but the other side's a really big drop that you didn't realize. And I looked out and there's blue light, so I did I couldn't yeah. gauge the depth. And as I looked out, I, start, I started to fall and I started to realize this was a terrible <laughs> idea. So I not only did I not look back at Andy, but I was falling for what must have been a solid five seconds. <laughs> it was and I hit such the, a long I delay. hit the ground and I was like, cool. How did you land? Nobody know. I just, I just, you know. Like, did you land flat or? Or like, I just landed on my, I mean, it wasn't that far, but I, I landed on my legs and just went <laughs> down. And then I had a moment where I was like, Nick, that was farther than you thought it was going to be. And you're older than you think you are. And you may have just hurt yourself. So I'm like, I saw, I was like, please tell me to hurt myself. And as I stood up, I'm like, no, 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 I'm fine. And I looked at my locked eyes. The dude that was sitting next to me, he was like, <laughs> and I was like, sorry. So, and I, just, I was like, I'm sorry. And then I got embarrassed and I ran. Oh my yeah. God, dude. It was ridiculous. Like, in the, I don't know though. what was wrong with the floor, but like, you know, in wrestling, how they use, like, the, the all nets. the weapons yeah. they the, use. The floors, the floors, that's the thing with those theaters are built on like plywood. So when I hit, I was not expecting it to be hard. Because what I used yeah. to do when I, yeah. it sounded like someone getting hit with a giant fucking like yeah. pie tin. No, it was very much like the it was very much like the mat at a at a WWE event where it's yeah. just like it's it's hollow underneath, so it's <laughs> reverberating. But so to give you guys the genesis of this, when I used to go to the the, the theaters in Riverside, I would sit in the row that had the bar. Yeah, and so I would just kind of hop over the bar and go because I didn't want to like. That was in the more compact theaters where you'd have to actually scooch next to people. So I was like, oh, this is, I'll just jump over this thing. And man, midair, I, was, I had time to think about how yeah. terrible this was. I was like, you're going to get, you're going to hurt yourself. You're and so then, lucky you didn't, because I could totally you know, see you blown out a knee or something. This is, this is what, this is what went through my <laughs> the mind. The movie getting stopped. I landed. I was like, that was fine. And then I saw people looking at me. I was like, oh, that was not fine. And then the first <laughs> fucking person I thought was, I was like, if I hurt myself. Greg fucking Miller will never <laughs> let me hear the end of this. And then Kevin will jump on that bandwagon and I'll have to quit. I'll have to quit kind of yeah. forever. Dude, my fun. first thought, I thought there was a shooting in a different theater, in a different auditorium. Because no, really? earlier yesterday, was a there was a I'm shooting at Tampa Mall sorry, yeah. and the Spider-Man uh, screening was evacuated. Oh, that's bad. So I was yeah. like, my first thought was like, I've never heard a sound like that. I, it, I thought that like someone's like bodies were hitting the fucking floor because that's what was happening. Just, you know, in a much... Less. It was a body. Yeah. And I, as I I'm saw sorry, his I saw body leap one. over, the amount of time I expected to hear the sound to when I actually heard the sound was so much longer than I thought it would be. <laughs> it was and it, it was a long was drop, a, man. I was, long I, was, drop. I, was, I was looking. <laughs> so as everyone was exiting, I kind of stood up and looked down just to, to gauge distance. And Jen and Gia were both shorter than the drop. Yeah. And Gia is what, like 5'2"? No, she just. Oh, it was like right over Jen. It was like it right was maybe Jen. like yeah. yeah. So yeah, it was yeah. probably about as tall as Jen is. Because Jen was, was like, this like is probably that, five feet because I'm five three and I'm. That's kind enough of over to it. blow out my knee. Oh, and yeah. the, the time I got home and I was like, we'll see tomorrow. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, oh, shit, fine. okay. Fine. I mean, yeah, I, not, from I went when I saw it happen and I saw you run away. It was that thing of a. Nick he's just shit. fucking around yeah. or B he's about to explode with diarrhea <laughs> no yeah that's what that was my thought so when 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 he first kind of leaned up he looked to the left and then looked to the right and noticed like I'm right in the middle this is gonna be a long time to yeah. get to the other side I don't want to bother people but I thought he whispered something to me I think you whispered something like I'm just gonna say, or I don't Check know, I, don't know what I said something and then as I was you trying jumped, to be, I was trying to make you laugh and then as you jumped and then ran out I was like did he lean over to whisper to me I have to take a shit or something like because <laughs> it looked like an emergency I thought oh, yeah. you're I thought do you, you, you want to hear the most insulting thing anyone said to me that entire night we get out of the theater and instead of talking about the movie that we just saw of course you guys are all immediately gonna give me shit <laughs> and I was like I, I, oh, I yeah. got this coming fuck us I got for this our, our <laughs> nearly 40 year old friend jumping a wall I was like opening 
knock him off. As I was walking out, I was like, "Fuck us for having questions." I was like, "I was like, I gotta take this. This is this is my this is my bed that I've made." And everyone's giving me a ration of shit. Tim said the thing. He was like, "Dude, I was worried there was something really wrong." And I was like, "Oh, I can understand how that would that would scare people." And then Kevin was like goofing with me. And then of all people, though, the the one that actually got me that insulted me was Greg. Was like, "That's something that I would have done." In high school, <laughs> and I was like, "How dare you?" <laughs> I, 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 How dare I said you? that repeatedly on the car ride home. Of like, I bet I had. I mean, the same way I remember climbing sure. over the bars and stuff. It, but it was definitely shit in the middle of a Fast and Furious Saturday night at fucking Cantera, oh, I would have yeah. leaned at my high school friend like, "Watch this." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was not yeah. smart. Don't don't yeah. do it. Please. I'm not ever gonna do it on again. the screen. What was happening was, in fact, yeah, uh, Mary J- or MJ looking to the looking over as Peter started to change, and then Ned walked into the room and he caught them you know Peter in various part of undress getting the suit on and then he was like oh hey uh, you're, you're in dress for the co- costume contest huh and he's like oh, oh no she knows it's like oh cool and he's like all right I gotta go you guys are you know what's up so you're in danger too so be careful with that and he jumped out the window and swung away Did Betty know also or no no, no, Betty did not okay. know, but it, like we'll get to that in a second. Okay. Uh, he gets out and swings away, and then Ned's like, "So you know too? I knew first, no big deal." Yeah, like, you're, yeah well, that's well. Now you're an FOS. Right? That's not until the boat, right? Oh, I yeah. thought that no, was sorry, yeah, yeah exactly. Oh, double decker bus. My apologies. FOS. Uh, so Spider Man swings away. He doesn't swing far before. In the, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm, I think it's just that he's swinging over to try to find Nick Fury, and the car pulls up, and it is Nick Fury. Yes. Yeah. There wasn't a battle or anything weird no. that happened there. Cool. Mm-hmm. Just get in the car. Uh, yeah, get in the car. He climbs in the car. They drive off to. Uh, they're gonna go meet up with the Interpol people or Maria Hill or whatever. And he's like, "No, you gotta understand. Like, this is happening. Mysterious bad guy." Blah 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 blah. They get to the white building the you're white talking about. White come back in. Yeah, exactly. And by the way, don't think that I didn't think. Climb back up. Just double down. I, climb back God, up. I was, I hope, I was hoping. Scratch, 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 scratch. Your ears. Your legs. Just- <laughs> Oh. <laughs> you're shaking your leg on the smooth surface. <laughs> then I was like, don't do that to these people. It was a bad idea. I'm glad uh, he didn't. They pull into the white thing. They're getting the whole brief. They get into the room uh, where Spider Man gives him more and more details and then doesn't sense something, right? It's just that he reveal. it starts getting revealed that you're a moron and it turns around. And they mm-hmm. shoot Nick Fury. Nick Fury goes down. All hell starts breaking loose. And it's a house of horrors in just an amazing sequence. This fucking scene is one of the my favorite it's MCU really cool. scenes. Yeah, 100%. It's it's really such a great job cool. building the villain and it's believable because yep. it's like this felt like a Spider-Man cartoon but nope it's real life and I bought it because they set it up well with the barf technology you can make him think all this stuff's yeah. happening and make it feel real the so zombie scary. Iron Man scene was oh, which yeah. was his the design inspired by there. Marvel Zombies Iron Man yeah. which is really fucking cool um, but that was amazing. Like yeah. that was so well done. I loved it. Like, him getting thrown or ju- trying to jump to safety and like it's t- totally turned around and it's like the the one foot drop. Yeah. yeah Some yeah. of my favorite uses of CG. Like I, I feel like this as well as a lot of scenes from Doctor Strange are on that level of just mm-hmm. like the, the creativity put into how they are. Uh, I, what they're asking Spider-Man to do and how they're putting him in these crazy weird situations yeah. that you would see yeah exactly in a car in a one-off cartoon that just really freaks you out and you never want to watch that episode for me again. It, was, it was so it was as good as like a scarecrow in Arkham Asylum yeah. right yeah. where like when you're exactly. playing that moment you're like what the fuck this the really Batman. felt like uh, the, the most perfect use of Mysterio I could ever ask for and it felt like uh, into the Spider-Verse almost but yeah. like in real life like oh mm. it looked but, so fucking cool and well, Horrifying. What made it especially cool for me, though, was how this whole scene culminates, right? Where he gets shot by Fury. Yeah, he gets taken. The whole thing ends. The and audience then cheers. The audience yeah. cheers, and you know you're like, uh oh, <laughs> no, there's something else up, or he gets tased, right? Uh, and Fury's like, that's, I, I knew it was up. It's cool. You just got to let me know. And the second he's like, who, who, else, else, knows? who else knows about this? You're like, oh, fuck, he's still in the thing. I did not. Oh, I, didn't I know. Either. I was like, really? oh, shit, he's still in the thing yeah. because. And uh, I saw it coming, and I was like, oh, no. Because for me, I feel like they did a very good job building it of just, like, it being so intense that, like, that moment of levity, like, I immediately started thinking of, like, oh, shit, didn't expect that. Like, how are they now just going to yeah, yeah. yeah. keep going from this? And then when that happened, I was like, now oh, got shit, they got me. Yeah, and that's that what good. I was talking about earlier of, like, there's no vulture moment, but I feel like there was a lot of moments that I'm like, oh, shit. That, I, there was I one extra know. step. Yeah. Well, this, well the expected. vulture had a physically uh, like a physically imposing presence, right? The eyes, the the sound effects they used, the fact that he could just beat the shit out of people. This was terrifying on a different level because he was outsmarting him, and that's always like the more cerebral uh, antagonist. Always the more interesting for me, but I, I really like the scene, and I fucking love how it ends. Sure, where he's like. He's he stops the 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 whole thing about a split second before Peter gets hit by a train. It was fucking horrible. Fucking I was like, oh my god, crazy, yeah. very violent. 
Yeah, and then of course the bloody Spider-Man hands come up from the side. Peter, not dead by the train, right? Uh, he climbs onto the train, passes out. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, w- wakes up in a jail in the Netherlands. Yeah, great. Where where everyone's a bunch of, just really nice. So nice. So nice. Yeah. What but a great like advertisement nice for the Netherlands. God yeah, bless yeah, right. him. Yeah, yeah. They say he got there. He's like, I gotta get out of here. Breaks the lock, undoes the thing, and the guys are like. Oh no! And they they, they shut the door and then he's like, "You guys okay themselves. in there?" Yeah, yeah. He's like, "Yeah, we're fine." That's yeah, big. Yeah. Meanwhile, the guy's playing with the the Arctic. And he, he calls him Spider Monkey. You know, Monkey Night Monkey. Night, night monkey. monkey. He's like Night Monkey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, "Oh, oh, the oh, his wife's pregnant." Oh my god! You know, yeah, 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 and that yeah. sets up perfectly the god. whole. Can I borrow your cell phone? Sure, like, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. yeah. And it's like everybody's so nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So great. I love it. And of course, he's <laughs> calling one Happy Hogan who can come help him and figure out anything that's going on. Uh, he swoops th- this awesome, beautiful scene of him in like the tulip field, right? Uh, swoop, happy swoops in, comes down, and then we get the also awesome. Like, is that really you? Tell me something yeah, only you would know. That. And he's like, Well, we went to Germany yeah, for that mission. That when we were checking out, there was a movie that I knew was an adult <laughs> film based on the front. He's like, All right, all right, all right. <laughs> and That's then they funny. have the really sweet hug. And then there's just an amazing scene, right? Of them, him bringing him on the plane. I, I thought they were going to be home, by the way. I thought they were going to use that was where the Aunt May stuff was going to come back in. Because I thought he was going to be like, I'm dating your aunt. And that would have been like, yeah, okay, I, I like that. I like that they I, didn't. But it, yeah, yeah. Later. they yeah, let yeah, him yeah. Later. stitch him back up, right? And then deal just his crisis of confidence, right? Like what we're talking about. Yeah. It's like he just can't do this, and he's not. Uh, everybody wants him to be Iron Man. He doesn't know if he can be Iron Man. Yeah. We already talked about it at the front of the show a bit of Happy being like, listen, man, you're not going to be Iron Man. Tony wasn't even Iron Man. He doubted everything he ever did. You just got to be you. You just got to be Spider Man, right? Gia starts crying. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. So I teared up. Like, yeah. I teared I love up, this man. So much. Yeah. For me, I mean, like you know, when he gives him his confidence back, what's the plan? We're gonna do this. All right, cool. Well, I'm gonna I'm, first. I'm gonna. You can make a suit back there, and he goes back to make a suit. And when he started using the technology, oh, that's when I they, yeah. they yeah. fucking yeah. yeah. Avengers yeah. theme starts playing, and, and pans, just they like, pan to happy, perfect. and happy starts this tearing up, and he's like, I got the music, and he hits fucking back in DC, baby. And of course, in tradition, be shoot the thrill, but it's okay. Well, in traditional Spider-Man fashion, or the one they write, I love what Zeppelin like that. Uh, but yeah, that was I teared up when he started using it, and you saw it in Happy's awesome. face and Happy's eyes sticks into it. the hologram. Yeah, yeah. And he's, oh, and naturally, move. naturally, yeah. yeah, I was just doing it. That was fucking rad. These uh, movies, dude. Right. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, so, <laughs> so yeah, everybody's like, "What do you want? What do you want to do?" He's like, "Yeah, yeah." I don't know. What do you want to do right now? We're hovering fucking yeah. above a tulip field for fifteen <laughs> minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, uh, meanwhile, yeah. So they got to figure out what's going on. It turns out the class is being sent over to London right now before they go home because it's just an easier way for Mysterio to kill them all and. And uh, make make a great Jesus. What's going on over there? Nothing. Don't worry. Make it. a make a big statement to the yeah, world that he's the hero here to save. Right? They figure this out by watching uh, Flash Mob, Flash Thompson's uh, whatever streaming service he's using. Yeah, because they can't. Because all of the things are being monitored, so they can't. Like, yeah, they call can't call, call anybody or do any of that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and then right. Happy is this the point where Happy calls he's on Fury his. and he's like. You left the surfboard back in the office. We didn't think it was yours, but looks can be deceiving. Whatever, and it's like the most obvious yeah. thing possible. I really didn't get it. Really? No. Uh, when he called him in, in Fury, and I think we're a little, there's a little bit of stuff that happens, but it doesn't matter. When Fury's like, I was don't ever call us number again. I did right. not get it that that was like coded message. I yeah. thought happy. I thought I was like, what is happy? I, I literally, as a moron, because I'm just a moron, thought Spider Man, because I think Spider Man already jumped out the plane at this point. Uh, I think Spider Man was, I thought Spider Man was going to come down on a surfboard. <laughs> I was like, uh, what kind of stark technology is he like silver surfing and riding Rangers? down? No, but I do like, we should Wait, talk about that. Yeah, See, the where moment he's hanging out the plane, it's like, you know, skip it. What's right. that? You oh, skipped sorry. it. Well, so fuck it. We'll never talk about it. Exactly. Again. That's <laughs> it. It's out of the movie. But he's hanging upside the place. Like, we really should talk about you and my aunt. And he goes, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, thought, gonna... I thought Happy was going to, like, juke a little bit and have, yeah. him, have him pop off. But it was also, funny. this is when he had already given uh, the Black Dahlia necklace to uh, Happy, right? Yeah, yeah. he yeah. gave him. Yeah. To give to May. Uh, so, yeah, the plan okay. is to get inside the illusion since he understands it or stuff, which, again, as a dumb viewer, he was talking about this. And, I, and even when Happy's like, how are you going to do this the second time? I was like, yeah, what did you learn? And then when he's like, He's like, ah, he does the whole thing of like, I you don't, it, it's going to sound weird. I got it. And I was like, Meh. and so when it was like, oh, get inside and do the thing. When he was got building it. the suit, he was modifying things yeah, to make the, the webbing that, more yeah, electrically make it more electrified control. And shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I caught all that. Mm-hmm. I just didn't understand what he was going to know to change or whatever. So sure enough, yeah, Fury's in the tower. He's got the call. He's watching out from that giant London tower that I've been to the top of. I forget the name of. Um, they're going across the bridge. The bridge, everything stops. It's the tour bus on top of it. We see the stuff underwater again. The drones making their things. This is when we get the friend of Spider-Man moment with uh, MJ and Ned on top of it. Uh, we also the, see how they set all this stuff up. So they're, they're, they're doing those like EM, this electric pulse. And we see that there's someone in... Like we go behind the scenes. We see that person, the, the woman is responsible for like hitting the pulse over and over again. So it's big. 
and uh, and then we see the guy that was doing the storytelling. Yeah, was, like, he was the bus driver. driver the bus yeah, driver yeah, yeah, so, so, so it was kind of yeah. cool to see behind that curtain. Meanwhile, and we have the, the lady that's also steaming his thing. She's like, are you sure you need the God, steam? Still need the cape. Job. Yes, I still need the yes, cape. I still need the cape. <laughs> I might meet the queen. Yeah. That's pretty very, In four hours, I, can be, I very yeah. much can be meeting the queen. Uh, uh, we get another moment here, though, with... And again, another a thing that I thought was just a huge missed opportunity was he tells um, uh, Colby Smolders to like watch my back or whatever it is, and she goes up to the top of the thing with an RPG of some sort, and then when it's all revealed that you know when Peter goes in and does all the thing and starts blowing everything apart, and then it's revealed that there's been a drone like right in front of him the entire time, and she like shoots it, just kind of it just didn't work. I was like. It's not as exciting as it should have been. I, like I got pretty high. I, I, like I, I, I thought it was dope. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm an asshole. Uh, before all that, though, <laughs> yeah, yeah was, uh, he, he's jumped off the plane. He swoops on in. He's using his uh, spidey wings. All that shit like, goes it's real, inside. It's not, it's not real. Yeah, yeah. yeah just boom, cut, right inside of it. Immediately right. grabs a drone. Starts webbing them up. Starts doing all that stuff. Things awesome visuals going. inside of the hologram. 100%. Yeah, it looked really yeah, cool. Really cool looking. Things start going all wonky tonky, and Mysterio is like, "I'm gonna go." His people are like, "Don't even worry about it." He's like, "No, I'm gonna look inside." And I love how he just looks like such a clown in his weird little suit with his weird little helmet right. and he's like he's got his uh, uh other drones it's in like anytime them. like people like when troy posts pictures of him like doing motion yeah, yeah I was totally. like it's so hard to look troy, cool you that fucking stuff. dork but the camera like, when they post the pictures from like lord of the rings with the like, cameras on their faces and stuff i was like you fucking and you're like that explains why the acting is so terrible in lord of the rings because there was acting in there i thought yeah, it was just right. people walking around oh, trying to fucking work off for the Oh, no, Anyways, uh, Oscars, Jesus Christ! Suicide Squad one. That's all it needed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, inside, he's webbing, he's doing his thing, and then he they all hell's breaking loose, and uh, he electrifies it as we talked about. That shorts out everything. They all short out. That's when the Colby Smolders blows up the other one. Uh, the, the 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 thing starts collapsing. The hologram or whatever. They're like, hold it, don't hold it. They're arguing about that for a while. Uh, then Mysterio's like, no, don't. I have an idea. And, well, okay, what are you gonna do? And blah blah. blah. And so then uh, Spider Man. Jump, he's getting just chased all around by the drones, webbing the drones, putting the web, the webs in between uh, the bridge and shit, and catching the drones, blowing up. The, just a lot of drones, and I'm like, you'd get shot a million times. Yeah, I'm not really feeling yeah. this scene, man. I it's, loved it. It's a lot. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I thought the choreography was so dope. Of like, here's this dude who can just fucking swing and shoot webs and stuff. What are we gonna do? That's interesting of him facing a bunch of shit. I liked the the way that everything was blowing up and stuff. Yeah. I get the bullets and shit, but I, eh, yeah, I, I I'm kind of with you. I I. I thought it was visually appealing. I felt like the intensity, but at the same time, I was like, "You're gonna get shot one of these times." But surely, yeah. I, is he not spot? Is he not bulletproof in this in this universe? I feel like getting they hit say by he can dodge bullets. Yeah, but like I feel like he got hit by a train and like that. Sure. Well, also, little fucked him I think up. they had also kind of established that he little. was ready to get that Peter, like his spider sense, in full effect. So I think a little bit of it was that now now we're starting to see Spider Man. Now we're starting to see why he's so agile and he can dodge bullets because he has he's in touch with that part of himself. <laughs> That really under like, has toots that precognition. The toots are on our side. <laughs> um, meanwhile, by the way, also we should note that the the kid, happy ghost to land the plane is like get in the plane, get in the plane, and they're and like, I work with Spider Man. You work for Spider Man? And I work with Spider Man. And the plane gets blown up. Yeah. It's on the trailer. They're on the run. They go down into they're the, the armory but, yeah, or, the, the, or whatever. Uh, some crown jewels some place, are kept. Yeah, or whatever exactly. It is. Some vault. They Which, run by the into. way, like fuck all the other students. Just these. Well, I well, remember no, they, they're the, only they going after the them. The students oh, break you're away because right, right. uh, these, you know, Ned and MJ hunted. and yeah. Betty break away because they know that they're the threat. And yeah. Flash needed to go with them so that Happy could find them. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Very true. Um, a little later, we get a scene where Spider-Man gets shot in the chest by one of the drones. Like he does get it, shot. as he's walking towards them, he gets shot right in the chest and like collapses. I mean, it makes sense that the, comes the back suit up. to some degree. The would suit be is, is yeah bulletproof. Anyway, sorry, continue. Oh yeah, Spun he got Kevlar. shot. Wasn't that in the stealth suit he got shot? I thought right. No, no, no. At the end when he's coming to him in the bridge, yeah, I remember bridge. him getting shot and like very dramatic, like falling down. Okay. Um. So yeah, we're they're down in the vault. The vault's getting broken into. All hell's breaking loose. Yada yada yada. Back there, Mary Jane has a cool thing where she, she uses the what do mace. they call those things? The mace and just yeah, slams yeah, yeah. one of them, outsmarts it a little bit. In the vault, they have their little come to Jesus moment where they all blurt something out, and Happy gets to blurt out that he's he's in love with Spider-Man's, Spider-Man's aunt. aunt. That's great. That was really funny. That's great. Yeah. I thought we're all sharing. Uh, and we also get more on MJ being like right. pushing people away or whatever. Away. Uh, meanwhile, though, Spider-Man's going up against Mysterio uh, in, in the bridge. In the bridge, yeah. And uh, there's drones there. It, He's got it. Then he's like, "Well, fuck it. You're gonna do my back in the Mysterio land or whatever." After apparently getting shot in the chest, uh, then this is a cool scene. To me. Yeah, exactly. Then mm-hmm. he closes his eyes and feels like the spidey can, sense, yeah, like you the Peter this. tingle. This is fucking this awesome. This spidey really sense scene. scene of him like just fucking shit in the up middle of the and illusion. with the drone illusions kind of like fucking up. Yeah. I'm like it reminded me of the Darth Vader Rogue One scene where yeah. I'm like, this is just pure fucking. This awesome. is cool. This yeah. is a cool scene. 
Very cool. And then, yeah, uh, you know, Mysterio wants to use more drones. They're like, no, you're in the kill zone, basically. He's like, I don't fucking care. Do it, uh, Edith. Edith does it. Mysterio gets shot. He gets over there, and he's already dying on the floor. And we get that cool moment of the final last poof, where Spider-Man yeah, reaches out and uh, gets uh, the actual Mysterio, which I wasn't expecting. I thought it was, it was another yeah. drone. Yeah. I thought it was a last, another drone, but in fact, it was Mysterio, who was actually also shot. And at some point in this, we get the, the shot yeah. uh, that going well, back yeah, the to the Obadiah st- stain guy. Like yeah, yeah, of him doing command, something like doing and taking something a USB and, out. Yeah, right. Yeah, as, he's isn't recording that all of it after he dies. I think it's right as it's it's right as it was, right as he takes back control of Edith, Spider Man. I I thought it was yeah, after because he has to say the command. Yeah, he says the the kill to, command to get them all to go Execute away. Execute the them all or whatever it is. Yeah. Um, but I mean, that's my question: Is Mysterio dead? I don't think so. I don't think and so either. I don't awesome. think so either. Yeah, it's yeah. really cool. I think you like, just better keep him alive. That's what's fun about this character is that he's like sort of the master of illusion, illusion. And, and you don't know what's going on. He, he can he can dupe everyone very easily. Um, but we do get that scene where we, we think he's dead. Wait. Uh, what happened? Well, my question would then be twofold then. And, and it's in line with your question. Yes, we are getting lunch. Uh, yeah, well, we're, we're, not, not, we're, we're running out of time to do it, the Olive Garden plan like we were talking about. Um, Charles, Charles instead? The the plan here, uh, the question I have is this, is if, is Mysterio really dead? I thought it was very interesting that Edith was given back control to Peter, right? Because I didn't think that's how that would work since you can only pass it one way or the other. It makes sense with your plan, of course, that, hey, because he, he puts them back on, right? Is this real? And she's like, yeah, he's really dead or whatever. Or that's really him or whatever she says. All so it'd be interesting if that, this, if it, it, the Edith he thinks he has is the illusion and Mysterio really is alive and has Edith. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Al- alternatively, too, uh, um, if he wasn't dead, someone would know, right? Because someone's going to go and collect the body, Fury, you'd imagine. Um, or... The scrolls, the, the yeah, yeah but, the, but, uh, but we've established that they really don't have their shit together either. Sure, you know, like uh, maybe they couldn't find the body. But just to throw this out there, Mysterio, like, is a disguise that anyone in that team could wear or sure. use. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it could be this bald dude, the uh, Obadiah Stane, second hand, yeah, could just be like, all right, I, I'm, I'm going to use the mantle to do whatever I want. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, the Edith thing is interesting. Well, yeah, but it would. I guess even if it was real, Edith, she would confirm that he's dead, or that's really him. And if he's dead, it doesn't matter. All right, interesting. Nice little threads here to tug mm-hmm. at for whatever's mm-hmm. gonna happen. But yeah. I also love. I mm-hmm. like the symbolism of all the illusions are, are over. They're gone. Yeah. His illusion of needing to be something he's not is gone. Sure, he's sure. now Spider Man. Lovely. Right. Uh, and so yeah, uh, Jake Gyllenhaal there dies, and he says before you know that you know he's doing a really weird monologue. Or just it does make sense at the time, but well, by the end of the uh, the epilogue here of just like you know people need to believe something, and that right now they'll believe anything. And he's like, oh, okay, that's a weird thing to say, but I guess we're setting up the phase four that it's a weird different time. Awesome. Uh, bounce out of that. Uh, that guy's dead. We're, every lands, we land back at it. Oh no, we don't actually strike that. We're back on the bridge, and uh, Pete and MJ get reunited again. Pete just got his mask off, walking like fucking, fucking keep your mask on, Spider Man. He's a kid. Uh, he got all hot. fucked up too. It was it was a really terrifying of him on fire swinging around on webs. Yeah, that was, was going like, down to the water. Yeah, yeah that was cool. So but yeah, cool. yeah, but like the suit's all fucked up. Pete's all fucked up. MJ comes up with that mace. Uh, she of course confesses. It was, she has the black dahlia thing. It got smashed. Peter tells a little bit of his plan and how much he liked her. She confesses the same thing of like it wasn't about Spider man it was about you like i just i'm bad i push people away they share a very awkward kiss it's really cute this whole thing is cute they share a better kiss and another awkward kiss and all this different stuff and then it's just like all right i'm gonna go back there i'm gonna go back here take she picks the mace back up you know just in case <laughs> yeah, it's it's good, awesome. it's good. i feel like yeah we we're finally starting to get that sort of chemistry that we that i enjoyed so much between andrew garfield and sure. uh emma stone stone, stone. Mm. Uh, i feel mm. like that we're getting back that like those really cute exchanges that are kind of awkward and I like you, but I'm not quite sure how to act yet. Yeah, I, yeah. I think it's all really awesome. And these ones actually look like job. kids. So it's like, oh, yeah. this is like a really mm. honest, like it's a, it's a weird mashup of superhero comedy and then coming of age story. Like, you know what I mean? Of we just kids being kids in high yeah. school. Someone in the chat really quick uh, pointed out, I King Carnage, did they mention Spidey having his makeshift uh, cap in Endgame reference with the shield and hammer? You remember when that. he gets like it right before yeah. he goes? Oh up. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah. Same thing. Great. great moment with Happy where he, oh. he throws that shield at the drone. Doesn't get anywhere close. Yeah. How does Cap do that? <laughs> close the doors. That's really that was awesome. Funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All the nods to <laughs> Avengers, MCU in general. Yeah. Like, like what a world this is was so great. Uh, we land back at Newark Airport. 
Uh, MJ and Peter come off the plane together. Uh, he's like, so you think you're really the only one who knows? And she's like, yeah, nobody else pays attention to you. Uh, Betty and Ned come off. They've broken up. Oh, no. <laughs> That's so over, good. right? Like, yeah. that was a cute scene of them being, all right, we're done. Yeah, it's done. We, Sometimes yeah. we'll uh, as apart. adults, we grow up. Yeah, <laughs> we grow yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so funny. Uh, everybody splits off. Uh, oh, a, a weird scene that I didn't see a payoff to in this, but maybe they're just helping establish characters later of like, Flash's mom didn't come. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah. And I was like, oh, like that. I thought we were going to get something in an epilogue. Or, I thought uh, Peter. I thought Peter was gonna like. Yeah, you want to? You, you come with me. Yeah, and yeah, give yeah, me yeah. Our, We can give you a ride home or whatever. I think that that was a, a reference to because I also thought that was weird. I think there was a reference to earlier in the movie when he was making fun of Peter um, for living in a poor neighborhood or okay. whatever. No. When he was on the I, plane no, with, well, the, earlier, with the champagne, or he's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. At one point, know. he was like trying to oh, like text his mom or call his mom, and she wasn't. Yeah. Answering it, I think what, it's was setting that up. Flash? The, that was MJ. Was it? MJ's text was the one that said that her dad hasn't called her in a while. Mm. Well, either way, it was mm. weird. It was. It, they should have cut weird. that part out. Yeah. Also weird. It was uh, we skipped it. I did love the joke in, in, when they were boarding the plane, so we way missed it. Of when Flash is yelling, him, "Hey, this is first class, man!" And, and MJ's like, "Yeah, he got blipped. He's not really twenty one." <laughs> they take, yeah, they yeah, take the thing. I was funny. like, "That's really funny." Uh, and the Flash thing was interesting, and I, I mean, maybe grasping at straws, but universe building of so Flash is the super rich kid. Does his dad work at Oscorp? Could he be a Green Goblin kind of thing? Could he be our Harry? I don't know. Something interesting. Mm. Mm. Anyway. Anyway, so <clears throat> uh, Aunt May almost gets a ticket. Uh, Peter gets in the car. They drive away. Um, then we're back. Uh, we uh, we had a scene somewhere in here with uh, Fury talking to Spider-Man. Oh, no, Happy talking to uh, in London. Happy talked to uh, Nick Fury on behalf of Spider-Man. I was like, you're not, you know, he, he'll call you, and he's he's gonna call me. Like, oh, ha, ha, I'm, and I'm like, it still doesn't feel like Nick Fury. What is going yeah. on? But and I do love that where he's like, he's like, did you like my, <laughs> my hidden message? He's like, yeah, real subtle. You should have just winked at the camera. That's cute. <laughs> um, then we get Spider-Man talking to Aunt May and Happy asking if they're together. And both of them say different things. Happy says yes. Love she it. says no. Heartbreaking. I hope. Th- oh, I think they're going to. I think, no, they're gonna, no, I think no, these no, two kids are going to work it out just fine. I whatever, hope so because right? I love it. Yeah, 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 and then what? It's that don't be. Oh, this is yeah. Spider Man swinging. First time we're seeing him swing in New York as like a, a Toby Maguire or Andrew Andrew Garfield, like a real Spider Man, right? Doing Taking real Spider Man. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Selfies. When yeah. that happened, like I when he did that, I'm like, I turned to Jen. She already knew. I'm like, that is a pose from Spider Man PS4. Straight what a up. fucking awesome impact for that game to be. Yeah. Yeah. Loved that way. Someone yeah, yeah, yeah. mentioned in the chat earlier today too. I don't know. I don't know if we have confirmation on it, but when he was pulling up the different uh, styles of Spider Man suits and like the little technology apparently there's an outline for the spider-man ps4 suit oh uh, was there was that just iron spiders giant spider i don't know again i don't have i saw him and i looked at him real yeah, quick I and I, I thought I they were already the all established spider-man gotcha, yeah yeah, gotcha. yeah that'd be awesome but i think it was just established i yeah. didn't love the swinging stuff like I, I feel like i feel like there was it, it felt too cg like oh. i feel like the one thing that some of the older movies like nailed amazing was like, spider-man there was like more of like a, a feel to it that I believed in. Whereas this, the little bit I saw, I didn't really like the him and MJ stuff. I was like, when the camera was close to them, I liked that a lot. Yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. I liked him running on the glass and apologizing. I'm yeah, like, that's, yeah, that's yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah, so he's swinging and he's going to meet MJ. Eventually he drops down and meets her, grabs her, swings, and he's she's like, You're going to love this. Yeah, she's terrified. And she does not up. love it. So and then that's credits for credits the first credits, part. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is a cool credit sequence, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Like, they always, yeah. they, they, like they nail the it for, with the first one, right? Vacation, they nailed it. all I ever wanted. Then we're interrupted, right? And it's Peter and MJ still swinging. Puts her down and she's like, I'm never doing that again. And it's like such a great, like, real reaction to it. In the same way of like when people will do, like, in Superman, the movie of Lois and Superman's flying or whatever, Start arms right. outstretched, and Start like right. the first time somebody was like, "No, she'd be hanging. <laughs> He'd be yeah. like this, and she'd be dangling, yeah. screaming." I also love it too because, like, from this character, we've seen her be nothing but cool as fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, nah, nah. Yeah, like, yeah, she that was totally breaks yeah, her character. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Love that. And he's like, "Yeah, all right, I gotta get out of here." Then he pops up on the thing when breaking news from the Times Square kind of s- screen comes through, and it's yeah, like, hey, there's more developments on the uh, fucking Mysterio stuff. Uh, it's from this. Re- he's what is it? Renegade vlog company or whatever yeah, the daily, daily bugle dot net net dot net and they throw it up and there it is jk simmons j jonah james yeah. oh, yeah. god damn that was good they let him be bald too i was yeah. like i love great. it just yeah. like this is the world that we live in that superhero movies and universes are so such familiar territory that something like this can happen where it's like oh it's the jk simmons that like playing George, j jonah jameson but this is a different one and we can get that we can understand that yeah well i also oh, like that i also like that it. it's a lot more of a of a contemporary like Infowars, Alex totally. jones style totally. thing yep. where it's like this guy's it's a like renegade in the, game. in the game that's like what he that's is exactly what it is that's yeah, cool yeah, that's yeah. 
yeah. really so, cool. So well done. Established like old school it, newspaper. It's the only thing that got spoiled for me in this movie. No. And, it, and it wasn't a direct spoiler. It was that I was on the Spider-Man subreddit and it wasn't even, hey, this is in the movie as much as people freaking out that J.K. Simmons was at the premiere. Oh. And when I saw mm. that, it put it in my head of like, oh, fuck it. They're probably doing it. They're Dude, probably fucking doing I, it. I can't yeah. believe this wasn't spoiled for me. Like I think just editing God, prom so and stuff happy. last week, I've been off the internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was so shocked seeing that. I, I would have so never crazy. expected it. And what I loved so much about that post credit scene is that that wasn't even the end. That was yeah. just a fun reveal. Yeah, that then, was the fun reveal. I guess the information of that like, we have uh, this clip and it was basically setting up Spider Man, of course, that he killed Mysterio, right? And he, the, you hear him say the execute thing, like you were talking about, which it was him executing the drones in reality, but then they were using the thing, not even think they really needed it, but using that dialogue that he was executing people and executing Mysterio or whatever, right? And even there, you're like, oh, awesome they're setting him up to be the menace right and this is why everybody should hate spider-man and then even on top of that they come back and he's like but are you ready for the real kicker and it was mysterio blurting out that peter parker is in fact spider-man and, it ends with and, and the what face? the fuck and the what the fuck dude i loved it like that that moment Jesus. to me it was a perfect example of what i keep saying about this movie of like I, I would be surprised and then there's one kicker at the end that I'm like and I didn't expect that like that was awesome I just where are they fucking gonna go and next I love that. it's crazy Good yeah, voice, but I also it. love that it's a little bit of an homage to like I am Iron Man right like at the end of the movie but the opposite right well no yeah but like but I like that it's like oh okay we're just gonna live in a world now where everyone knows who he is that's great See, what, I, what I love about what it means for the future is everybody expected uh, myself included the Sinister Six reveal for this mm -hmm. Oscorp and all this mm -hmm. stuff like I thought that was a Shooing for sure. I'm so happy that they're not showing that yet. Like, take your time. Let's get there. Let it build. Um, but I feel like this is a great build towards that, though. Of now that his identity is out there, now Scorpion knows. Mm -hmm. In the post credit scene uh, yeah. last time in Homecoming, it ends with Scorpion, Scorpion trying, to find, trying to find out from um, Vulture, and Vulture's like, I'm not telling you. Yeah. Now everybody knows. Anybody that Scorp or that Parker's ever fucked up knows it's knows. him. Yeah, it's scary. So that gives so a, a awesome. real good reason for Sinister Six to kind of come together yeah it'll be interesting to see how they handle it right because yeah. i do think it obviously you can go the civil war comic book way right of like all right cool the identity is out there and what does that mean everybody has a target on their back i think another interesting thing would be and i don't know how you exactly do it but obviously mcu is way smarter than me is that whenever we catch up with Spider-Man again in his own, I assume the next thing, the next time this gets touched on is the next solo Spider-Man, right? I mean, Gotta imagine. yeah, exactly. It, it could be a Two really, years from now. it could be I a really that. interesting thing of like, obviously there's shapeshifters, there's scrolls, there's this, there's that of the old Clark Kent Superman thing of like putting them in the same place and be like, we're not the same person, blah, blah, blah. And then having a movie where Peter Parker is under such close eye that he is not spider. He can't be Spider-Man. Right. And there has to be somebody else that has, has the call for a little while of oh. what that is, who mm. that is. And that, but it, the mid death note, plot it line. still works with your idea of there. There's sinister six. Who's like no fucking way. And like Mysterio, who's I'm not fucking dead. And I know it's really him guys. We have to make this, you have to prove it. We have to get, you know, something out of that could be all really an interesting idea. Of course we want to see him be Spider-Man. Uh, something that uh, you reminded me of is like, this is crazy. This was our fifth, Tom Holland's Spider-Man appearance. He's been Spider-Man more than anyone else wow. has ever been Spider-Man in such a small period of time, and it's been so good. Yeah, like I just I love it that like we got two solo movies and three ensemble pieces with him, and he's like the star of the show all the time. He's yeah. such a fucking good actor. Yeah, yeah. Just, and so the way he fun. the way he emotes in in the Robert Downey Jr. sort of you know talking about I miss him and all, I miss yeah. him happy yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah. He's so fucking good. He's yeah. really good. And then yeah, final credit scene of course is uh, Maria Hill, Nick Fury in the car driving. Maria reveals she's a scroll. Nick reveals he's a scroll. They're the scrolls from Captain Marvel. Oh. I forget yeah. their names. Their names are Boris Talos. and Natasha. Talos and Soren. I had a really scary moment in my theater for this where when Nick being the fogey that he is falls and Tim is like freaking out of like oh my like is there a shooting happening? Someone had the most ridiculous fucking reaction to Maria Hill turning into a scroll, where he like screamed at the top of his lungs, like Jesus Christ! And I was like, what? What happened? Like, what? What was going on? And it was just very terrifying. Don't weird do reveal. that. This, yeah. this whole thing yeah. we talked about it earlier, but it's just weird. And like, still, why does it sound like you're talking to? Blah, blah, blah. It's like. Just don't do that. ADR. Do, it, do ADR. Just, ADR. Just yeah. give us the ADR yeah, yeah. that's going to sound like this. And he, yeah, he FaceTimes with who it turns out to be Nick Fury, right? Uh, it was Pierce in a travel location. We gave him the glasses. It was a touching moment. Some other stuff happened. And Fury just hangs up on him, right? Who isn't in uh, Tahiti. He's in space. He walks out. All the other scrolls are there on some giant spaceship. And he's like, where are my shoes? Yeah, Everybody get to work. Back to work. <laughs> it's a, it seems to be a hint at S.W.O.R.D., uh, which is the Sentient World Observation and Re Response Department. It's a fictional counterterrorism and intelligent agency appearing in Marvel Comics. 
So, and that's the so end. That's cool. Thank and you, Stanley and Steve Ditko. Mm-hmm. Um, um, uh, were they born, born in labs? Now it's time to rank those abs. Did we have abs in this? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He was, the MJ was showing. Oh, yeah, you were. You, this is it. after you jumped. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> how they look great. I mean, yeah, he's a fit. He's a fit kid. Right? I also enjoyed how much MJ was like peeking back. She, yeah, that's, it that's, was, uh, you you would have liked it. I'll tell, I'll tell you this. The last time, I mean, again, my, my thoughts on Tom Holland's abs have not changed. If you are just skinny to begin with, that's a cheat. You don't rank highly on my ab list. Apologies. I love you, Tom. He's got great biceps. That is too. all. That, mm. that great is all. biceps. Mm. He's a yeah, his arms are getting... His, overall, they, like, there was a scene where he was like holding something, and I was like, whoa. Yeah. Why wouldn't he hold me? You mm. know what I mean? Okay. Right, you bag you, please. <laughs> Wait, we're not doing the wigging out? Is there a wig? Yeah. Jacob Battle line. There is, exactly. Is it a wig? I don't know. We're wigging now with Scarpino. No, fucking wait, tricked who, him again, who huh? Had, who had a wig? Ned. Ned. Ned has a wig. He's bald as uh, shit. I was I was more concerned with the fact that he looks like a 45-year-old man in this than that he's bald. Did he? He's getting a little long in the tooth. We need to get these kids to college. Let's you just put you it do that a way. movie with Barbara Dunkelman, it shows, man. She wears you down. That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I do kind of agree. When, when gotta Peter, get him out of there. We're when Peter does old. say, like, I'm a 16-year-old kid, I'm like, man, I wish he was already, like, 30. 19 or 20. Yeah. Like, mm. I... I mean, because not that he's old, not that he, not that Tom Holland looks old, but in two years, when we get the next standalone Spider-Man, or three years, or whatever, it's it's gonna be, he, you know, is he gonna be seventeen an or eighteen? And he's gonna be twenty-seven, you know, or yeah. twenty-five. I don't know. It's just we're getting there. You know? Jacob's twenty-two, on. just so <laughs> everyone knows. <laughs> Which who, who's Jacob? The four-year-old. <laughs> Ned just looks so old. <laughs> he does it so mean. <laughs> he doesn't look like. <laughs> All right, um, ragu, ragu. <laughs> God, don't make this long. Bad. What's here. up, everybody? Go to the bathroom. Welcome. I already did. To rad guys talk bad guys. The podcast within a podcast. We rank all the villains in the MCU XCU solo universe. Oh, <laughs> I'm one of your hosts, Greg Miller, alongside Hispanic Hardtop, Andy Cortez. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, today we'll be I'm figuring out. I'm Where? In, I'm in no, you're not. Don't ever I'm fucking touch me, audience member of Ragu Bagu. Uh, no, touch that. Ew. Right? Touch that. Ew. Did you just ew your own penis? Yeah. <laughs> just Why sure is it sweaty and cold <laughs> and hot? Ah, uh, we're ranking Mysterio. So far, the list stands like this. 34, Jessica Chastain oh, slash Zelda mummies. Christ. You'll understand that way tomorrow. 33, <laughs> these fucks from Thor 2. 32, these ducks from Wolverine. 31, Abomination. 30, Apocalypse, duh. 29, doesn't matter. Matter, Deadpool 2, 28, Ronin Guardians, 27, Cross Ammon, 26, That Lady from Ghost, 25, Magneto Phoenix X3, 24, Loki Thor, 23, Obadiah, number 22, Mandrich slash Aldrich, 21, The Vision from Solo, 20, Mass slash Dormammu, 19, Magneto Brotherhood, 18, The Dink Sentinels, number 17, Rockwell Mickey, number 16, Red Skull, number 15, Francis Angel Deadpool, 14, Cree Jude Lad, 13, Ultron Ultron, 12, 12, Hydra, Captain Wee. 11, Striker. 10, Pierce Logan, X-24. 9, Baconator, First Class. 8, Ego, Guardians 2. 7, Hell slash Grand Mass, R- Thor Rag. 6, Loki Avengers. 5, Thanos Endgame. 4, Bacon Guy, Civil War. 3, MBJ, BP. 2, The Vulture. <laughs> 1, Thanos, Avengers, Infinity War. Where do you want to put big ol' Mysterio, Andy Cortez? Um... I feel like Mysterio could go above Pierce and Logan and X-24, like underneath Baconator first class. See, I was thinking, honestly, this is why we're such good hosts in this show, is that I was thinking number nine above Baconator first class. Number nine above Baconator. The fight scene's so good. No oh, yeah, you know what? Yeah, The, put the, the, the reveal of him there. when he starts being evil Mysterio is so good. He, he had you wanted to be his best friend. All of the different Baconator reveals. Baconator won, yeah. though, at the end. Oh. Broken now, team. you know what I would put, you know, I would put him at number 9 underneath the Ego. Thank you very much. Yeah. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Number 9 is Mysterio, leaving Ego at number 2 from Guardians or at number 8 from Guardians 2 and Baconator from First Class moves to number 10. Um the the one Easter egg that I forgot to mention was right at the end when he was swaying away um from like with MJ I think it was. Uh-huh. Uh in the back you see the construction of Oscorp. Or, oh really? Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, that's not right. Of the Avengers Tower. Oh, like, like of them he, working he on it still? And they're working on it. And the um, billboards that are like mm. kind of up in the construction, there's like four segments. And one of them says one, two, three, and then question mark. And then after that, it says, we can't wait to show you what's next. So What the fuck? Phase, phase four. four. Yeah. Mm. Is oh, there gonna Fantastic be Four is what I was thinking. 
I still a, I still like the idea that it becomes the Fantastic Four HQ. Thank you very much. Really. It's like, why can't I remember mm. the name? Mm. Um, and then, real quick, we're going to a little haiku and review. Seven syllables in the middle. You'll need five for the first and last line. If you're not poetic, no need to fret it. Haikus don't need to rhyme. Ah! Haiku in review. Haiku in review. Everybody, now stop. Uh, DJ Kento writes in and says, Who is that I hear? Spider Man is a menace. JK is JJ. Ah! ah. Chadwick uh, says, Nick Fury's an illusion of an alien. Of the real Nick Fury. Whoa. <laughs> um, nanobiologist says, Beck was an all-time great. Spider-Man is a menace. Get me pics right now. Um, okay, and then Lorian has the last one here. It's a far from home haiku with bonus rhyming. What was Flash there for? He's 16 plus five more. It's hard to ignore. <laughs> so, wow, okay. that's really Let's good. There. I there like that. Go. Now it's time to rank... The Marvel Cinematic Universe. There's a lot of them. Strap in. Currently, number one, Avengers Endgame. Number two, Avengers Infinity War. Number three, Spider-Man Homecoming. Number four, Captain America Civil War. Number five, Thor Ragnarok. Number six, Captain America The Winter Soldier. Number seven, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Number eight, Avengers. Number nine, Guardians of the Galaxy. Number 10, Iron Man. Number 11, Black Panther. Number 12, Doctor Strange. Number 13, Captain Marvel. Number 14, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Number 15, Ant-Man. Number 16, Iron Man 2. Number 17, Avengers Age of Ultron. Number 18, Captain America The First Avenger. Number 19, Iron Man 3, number 20, The Incredible Hulk, number 21, Thor, and finally, number 22, Thor, The Dark World. I'll start bidding. I say Spider-Man Far From Home goes in at number 11. I think number 10, but I'm right around there with you. Right? I think yeah. number 7. Wow. Seven. Over, yeah. Wow. I would put this right below Over Doctor Guardians. Strange. Mm -hmm. So you're, you'd put it at 13? I'd put it at 13. Mm -hmm. Okay. Doctor mm -hmm. Strange. And Andy, Strange. Um, come off the bench, big dog. Get off, man. Let's do this. Yeah, I'm thinking around. Yeah, I'd go above Doctor Strange as well. Yeah. Mm, mm. So you'd put it at number I mean, 12 as well? Yeah, I would put it above Doctor Strange at number 12. I, it, I think Panther. it's the normal thing we always talk about on this show. All these movies are great with the exception yeah. of Dark World. Uh, and <laughs> this one was great as well. I, 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 when we were in the car and I was I tweeted about it and talking about it, like I want to see it again in the theaters, right? Mm. But I'm not looking forward to that first half. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm going to be like, all right, cool. Oh, yeah, we're in the bar. All right, we're in the bar. Here we go. Here comes the movie, right? And I think that's the reason for me that it's, like, not in the top ten. There's, there's so many things about Far From Home that I enjoy a lot more than Homecoming, actually. Like, I, mm -hmm. I think I think the the humor with the kids was done so much better. That's one, one of the gripes I had with Homecoming was that, like, I don't like any of these kid actors. Yeah. I don't think they're very funny. I think in this one, they nailed the humor. I thought it was a lot funnier than Homecoming was. Um, See, I thought they I, almost went too much into that. Though. But I also yeah. think that this movie had a lot, a much better action than Homecoming, which is like I think Homecoming had Michael Keaton and oh, yeah. um, and a much better, more compelling villain. I think. I mean, not that Jake Gyllenhaal wasn't compelling, but I think Michael Keaton is one of the best villains, as uh, noted in Ragged Bagu, Bagu, right? Yeah. The definitive list. Yeah, the definitive list. Um, but I think that the action scenes are are, are a lot better than Homecoming, uh, along with the kids' humor and. Uh, I guess I'd say that's it. Yeah, the kids were great, man. I mean, uh, yeah. Peter and MJ were so good together. Yeah. Kevin mm -hmm. and Paula were so good together. Um, <laughs> wow. Uh, no, obviously, my thing with, with Spider-Man is... I mean... I feel <laughs> like... The, the disrespect. How did we not <laughs> see it? Like, the, the, the world of, of Spider-Man no is it's so rich, here. and Spider-Man's my favorite superhero of all time, and it's because mm. like I love him as a kid. I love Peter Parker. I love Spider-Man. I love him when he's young. I love him when he's old. I love his rogues gallery. I love his uh, just kind of side cast of characters. Yeah. Like, it's just so strong and so built, and I love the fact that he can work on his own or work with the Avengers or whatever. It's just like he's so versatile. And I think that the the movies, the the MCU Spider-Man movies, do such a good job of like just hitting a tone. Like they have their own feel in the same way Guardians has its own feel and whatever. And it, it is goofier. You know, it is like this grounded thing, but it's like they can make fun of the blip in a way that sure. we totally buy. And it like expands the whole MCU's mm -hmm. world building, but also like has this fun, unique, like 80s high school movie vibe the entire time through. And I thought Mysterio was so awesome. And some of the scenes that he was in from bar scene on were just impeccable. Yeah, agreed. With that and one. the post credit scenes like legitimately wowed me. And I feel like I haven't had that level of shock and surprise since I don't even know when. Like that, that was like Avengers Thanos type shit or like 
big wow reveals. Sure. Mm-hmm. I think like seeing Thor's hammer at the end of Iron Man 2 was kind of one of those like, oh, whoa, whoa. We've just come yeah, so like far that we're so used to like being surprised yeah. that like it's not a surprise anymore. Yeah. So when it is something that you're like, what? Yeah. I think it's really awesome. I love the J. Jonah Jameson stuff. But I was telling Tim after the movie that but I, I kept seeing a lot of tweets like, holy fucking shit. The post credits ah, mm-hmm. and and for me, I was like, oh my god, they're gonna show an X Men, aren't they? They're gonna sh- they're gonna hint at something X Men wise. So like, even though I was still blown away by the jo- the J Jonah Jameson reveal, th- there was still that part of me that thought it was gonna be an X Men sort of um, thing. Nah, we're still far away from that, unfortunately. Yeah. Cool. Let's okay. vote. It's time to vote. I'm changing my mind. Actually. Oh dear. Oh, oh whoa, yeah. whoa. Um, who thinks it's better than? Let's just start all the way down at Ant Man. Raise your hand. Everyone raises their hand. Who thinks better than Ant-Man and the Wasp? Everyone raises their hand. Who thinks better than Captain Marvel? Everyone. Who thinks better than Doctor Strange? Uh, everyone except Nick. Who thinks better than Black Panther? Uh, just, wait, oh, me, Kevin, and Greg. Who thinks better than Iron Man? Just me and Kevin. Ladies and gentlemen, the new MCU rankings. Number one, Avengers Endgame. Number two, Infinity War. Three, Homecoming. Four, Civil War. Five, Ragnarok. Six, Winter Soldier. Seven, Guardians. Two, eight, Avengers. Nine, Guardians. Where were we here? Ten, Iron Man. Ten, Iron Man. And then 11, Far Far From from Home. home. 12, Black Panther. 13, Doctor Strange. 14, Captain Marvel. 15, Ant-Man and the Wasp. 16, Ant-Man. 17, Iron Man 2. 18, Age of Ultron. 19, First Avenger. 20, Iron Man 3. 21, Incredible Hulk. 22, Thor. And 23, Thor. The Dark World. Will Thor ever move up? I was trying to do it with you. (laughs) <laughs> where where uh, you said you changed your vote? I would, where you I would put, put it? it above Guardians One under Avengers. So at so number the, nine, number nine. Okay. at number nine. Mm. Yes. Thank God this maniac doesn't have the switch. You know what I'm saying? Jesus <laughs> Christ! Don't give him the fucking football. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, exactly. That's what you mean. Crazy. But that's a solid question, Nick. Will Thor ever move Will up Thor the ranking? We will have to see. Up. I fucking no, hope. I hope, I hope not. not. Yeah. I hope not. God, can you imagine what, is, what a dud we need to have that happen? Probably Adam Strange solo project. It's crazy how good like the top. 10 R. Yeah. Gotta love it. They're so solid. Uh, next week, we're doing Tark Phoenix and strap in. We already oh, recorded this episode. It is exciting. definitely the craziest Nick or Greg has ever fucking done. <laughs> um, so, yeah, enjoy enjoy the X Men. Until next time. Have a marvelous day. Oh, so good. Fuck, we didn't do a.